What are you hoping to find tonight? Um, truthfully, I, I'm I'm not that picky. I think I'm not hard to impress. I don't discriminate any races, any sort of like uh, ethnic background, anything. As long as someone is friendly and cute and like, I don't know, shows me respect. That's all I really need. And is it helpful? Just like a typical sweet. I'm looking for the mother of my children. So not just a girl that's attractive, not just a girl that is funny, whatever. Someone who I'm like, wow, she'd be a great mother to my children. Oh, okay, so like, would you say that like you're submissive and breedable? <laughs> my girl has to be. <laughs> okay, but like, what about you? Me? I'm not submissive, but I'm 100% breedable. Would you be like submissive for the right girl? Like, let's say you find her tonight. Like, would you, is she, would you be submissive for her? Here's the thing. I'm not submitting to a girl. However, in the, if my, if it's my girl and I love her deeply, I guess I would submit in that, oh, she's sick. I will take you to the thing. I'll get you some soup. You know, I would do it in that, but I wouldn't even call that submissiveness. I call that just being helpful. Um, okay. So, like, would you cut the bullshit, Ryan? I need to know. Chat needs to know. Does it curve? Um, does it curve? No, it doesn't. Okay, proof? Uh, I can talk to you. I can show you all after the stream. Okay, you know wait, wait, wait. I'm not the woman that you're supposed to be trying to raise up now, by oh, the way. Oh, we can add like, maybe, like, maybe you could show, like, the other girls off stream. Um, okay. I'll get your approval first to... <laughs> That you can look at it and see what you think, and then I'll, you can let me know if that you think that's good to show to the other girls. As far as I'm concerned, um, you're in this thing too. I'm what? As far as I'm concerned, you're also a part of this. I mean, like, yeah, I guess, but but I, I'm not the I'm not the contestant here. Okay, I'm not the contestant. All right. I'm, all right. Uh, okay. Um. Um. We'll see. Um. Okay. Well. uh let's uh let's drag in let's drag in the girls and not if you could do me a favor if um if you see that most of the girls aren't in there yet if you could just add mommies and like tell them to join let's bring in can we bring in oxy i did have another girl that was okay but i don't know if it's too late Dude, it says that my audio is too low, and I don't know what to do to fix it. I literally don't know what to do. It's like literally like it's at the highest on OBS. Um, Sound? Like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Chat. I don't know what to do. I don't. I don't know. Can I see the chat? Uh, if you open up twitch.tv slash Tiffanobi, you can read the chat. Make sure to turn the volume down so you don't hear yourself and me talking. Oh, twitch.tv. Ah, fuck the chat. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. I want to see um, too many examples you just gave me. Sorry. Wait, hello? Can we, can, is it possible to bring in Oxy? Is it me? He's not. Oh, he's trying to explain. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, North, can you do me a favor? Can you drag in Oxy real quick? Hello? Hey. Hi. Okay, can we, uh, where am I? Okay. Are you, oh, let me turn on my camera. camera. Okay, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, my camera should be on, right? Hold on. No. I oh. just see the profile picture. Um. Oh, sorry. Um. Let me see. It's weird. Um. It says you can't stream in, into this channel. Why? So I can't. I don't. I don't have the role. So the the mod was actually giving us the roles to be able to stream. Um. Hold on. Um, yeah. Sorry, friend. <laughs> um. Okay. Try now. Let me see. We're good. Hello. And there it is. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna oh. turn off my camera and I'm gonna leave you guys to it, okay? So just talk, get to know each other. I'll be here to intervene if it gets awkward and shit, okay? 
Is there a time limit? Um, do we? To, I try to not take too long. <laughs> I'll I'll okay. interrupt if it if it starts like you know like you know what I mean. Okay, yeah. Good luck. All right, valid. Okay. Um, hello. So, what is your name? Hi, my name is Auxiliary. Um, I like anime, as you can see. I'm Mexican. I'm bilingual. Lived in Mexico. I have a biochem degree, but I'm a streamer. Um, I worked as a co cocktail server for two years, and I'm Tiff's housemate. So. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And you said your name was Auxiliary. Yeah, like sound. Is that your stage name or your real name? My name's real name is Becca. Okay. Can I address you as Becca? If you like. But okay. if you forget, that's why I like to say oxy or like auxiliary, because it's like people forget. And then I'll be like, oh, well, that was fun. That was a fun introduction, you know? Oh my gosh, she's so oxy. cute. Chad that's is my interesting. Roommate. Okay. Chad is my roommate. Well, yeah. Off the bat, you were already giving me some good stats. Uh, what type of guys do you normally go after? Um, red flags. Definitely red flags. Usually, um, they have like PTSD because they've been in the military and they have short term memory loss or um, they're crazy. So like, I don't know, I have to call the police and be like, hey, I need a restraining order or who have I talked to recently or mean, mean, weird dudes. And then I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And they're like, you're right. I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm stable enough to talk to someone right now. And I'm like, OK, bye. You know, and <laughs> That's great that you're honest because that those type of guys, the the oddballs, the curveballs, the kind of crazy ones, they keep it interesting. Who wants a nice guy? Who wants like a, a stereotypical like I'll do whatever for you? Here's another thing for you. So you said you do Twitch, right? Yeah. Streaming. Does that mean you have a bunch of simp's that are trying to talk to you all the time? Wait, and you can't like, say that word on Twitch. Okay. So no, you can't use it in a you can't use it in a degrading way. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't okay. use it to insult someone. So yes, you can define it. So Interesting. It's fine. Okay. But if you use it to insult someone, like if I were to call you that, that's okay. OS. But if you use it because you're like, oh, this term, you should be fine. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, I asked the guy what I could and couldn't say, but that was a new one. I so, see your hand has Robin on it. Are you oh, yeah. is Batman your favorite superhero? You know, funny enough, Superman is my favorite superhero. Do you have a Superman tattoo on your chest? I don't. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, I have I have other ones, but they're just like, it's like a grizzly bear and shit. Ryan, but... would you cosplay in bed with Oxy as Superman and his kryptonite? Um, yeah. I think that'd be cool. I've, I've been... You want me to be Lois Lane? Yeah, I think we could do that. Or do you one. want me to be um, Mary Jane and or Gwen in the Spider Verse? Or last option is Catwoman. Man, what do I want you to be? You know, let me let me be honest here. I have been looking for a sort of hot topic Comic Con type chick. I it looks like I work at Hot Topic. Yeah, you look you look like the type of girl that I'd see at a Comic Con event whatever and i think that that's been a avenue i've been wanting to explore but i've never been in the same circles as a girl like you so oh and now it's muted i it muted might... myself i had to ask my chat if i look like i work at hot topic and everyone said no i don't think you've been to a hot topic in years actually well, hot topic ones are normally not I as hot topic a lot i don't look like i work at hot topic no nah, I, I think you have to be uglier to work there but no I'm just like have to be more goth. I chose not goth today. Yesterday I look like I work at Hot Topic. Would you still fuck her if she worked at Hot Topic? I work at Hot Topic part time. I'm insulted. I mean, I'm looking for a Hot Topic girl to like smash. <laughs> so I think that would be a plus of like, oh, you're at Hot Topic? Like, oh yeah, I got me a little Hot Topic. Yeah, yeah. I get discount on piercings. I love that. <laughs> and if I could go there and visit you at work and I go and grab like a Auntie Anne, Auntie Anne's pretzel, pop in there, and be like, "How's it? How's it been today?" And then, and you could call me your little cheese pretzel, you know, your little spicy. Would, would you put your cheese pretzel. on her pretzel? Would you? No, I think it'd be the opposite. It'd be would I put my cheese on his pretzel? Right? Oh. He's got the penis, right? Okay. Well, all right. So, um, Oxy, would you put? Would you, 
her cheese, your cheese on this pretzel. Let me ask chat. Chat, would I put my cheese on his pretzel? Two in the chat if I would put my cheese on his pretzel. Can chat, we substitute any cheese? takers? Or like icing, and you can be the cinnamon pretzel, and it's let's do icing. I would give cinnamon. I, I, wait, I kind of give cinnamon pretzel vibes. I feel that. I think you're giving icing vibes, and I'm giving cinnamon pretzel vibes. So is it, is it because I'm shiny? Yeah, and a lighter yeah. tone. You've got a bit of a lighter tone. You're not giving me I cheese. We're the same skin tone. I'm not gonna lie. I'm Mexican, but I swear the same skin tone. Yeah, maybe, and also there's super bright lighting on me right now, so I'm looking. Awfully. Honestly, yeah, we could be cousins. I think we're right. related. Yeah. Would you want to do a stepbrother fetish with me? Oh, whoa. Could you get me out of the washer if I got stuck? Oh, we could definitely arrange that. Yeah. Uh, you know, let me say something, because I'm a big compliment giver. This started off really strong. Like, you're a very pleasant, witty person. And that is, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know if I had low hopes because Tiff was picking the girls, but. Uh... <laughs> you looked at me and you were like, oh, this chick is not pleasant. Can confirm, oh not pleasant. Because I didn't even know what anyone man. looked like or anything, but over. okay. Let me just and get a few. You looked at Tiff and you were like, yeah, oh Tiff God, hangs around unpleasant in. women. No. Gives unpleasant woman vibes. I was, I just had low expectations, but then you exceeded them. My walls are thin. The, no. This is your bed here in the background, correct? I just moved here. This is actually not my setup. If you please go to my Instagram so you can see my old setup. I like moved like five days ago. So I'm like, this is cringe. This is cringe. I, I used to have Instagram. like, no, yeah. Ryan, she is actually my roommate. Uh, and you know how oh. we live close? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whoa. So I, I like that because I could go in one room and into the other one. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, safe word is I love you, by the way. I love you. <laughs> safe word is I love you. Good word. For I you or me or him? No, for you guys. For you guys. Dude, Ryan, that is crazy. Okay. Yeah. Any hoosies. What are some what of your fuck? turn offs when it comes to guys? Things that you were like, hey, don't do that. I don't like when a guy does this or looks like this. Whatever. Bro, do you have any dogs? I have no dogs. I have two geckos. Oh, really? That's cool. Um, hmm, turn offs from men. Um, let me think. Oh, you know what? You know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for somebody to clean my house, cook for me, wash for me, um, walk my dogs in the morning when I'm hungover or play video games for too long. Um, oh, I don't drive. I'm a passenger princess. I'm 25 and I can't drive. Um, so I need somebody to drive me around. That's important. Okay. And I don't know how to cook either. The driving thing, we can... You don't know how to cook. Okay. I'll call. No, I Uber everywhere. So you have to have at least minimum wage to sustain my Uber fees. Also, I really like McDonald's. So you have to be awake at night because my sleep schedule is really bad. I woke up today at 4 and I went to sleep at 7 a.m. playing league. So you have to be able to take me to McDonald's when I finish playing league in the morning. Because oh. I'm hungry. Oh, you laid it on heavy there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, are you willing to learn how to make some simple food dishes? So, I've been on multiple cooking shows, and I have always failed them. Mm. I have, uh, one time I presented a raw salmon. Uh, one time I cut up in my hand trying to make sweet potato pies. And then one time I microwaved an egg. And then... Can you make a sandwich? Pie. No, but I did buy two sandwiches from Starbucks today. Okay. So she did buy two from Starbucks. Okay. Um, I, did, I did clean Tiff's house today. Ask Tiff. I'm really good at cleaning. Okay. Um, Work with that. Uh, um, but I'm lazy. So to be honest, I think we should get maids. Okay. So it was because Tim gives, sorry, Tiff gives mommy vibes. So I kind of wanted her to step on me and we could do like the little maid thing where like I walk around in like a maid outfit and then, you know, we like hook up and stuff, but she never like did. And I just kept cleaning and she never came. And I was really sad. <laughs> never can't, never coming is really sad. You know? Are you a very sexual person? Are you a cop? <laughs> No, because I'm thinking, to me, you're giving off sexual energy. 
but I'm also thinking, could this be could this be a facade? Is this the real you? Because you've got this, you know, nice done up thing. Is this the real you? Who is the real you? No, this is definitely her. Me all the time. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's good. I'm looking for a, a kind of kooky character. I need something a little to spice up my life. Uh, okay. The oh man, the driving we can do, the cleaning, but she gets tired. What is the best and worst thing about you? I love too hard. I'm too compassionate. I'm really great at giving hugs. Um, I'm too good at sex. Um, there's a lot of them. It's crazy. I know I get that a lot. Yeah. My uh, my ass is too fat. People are always thanking me for my service, and I'm like, Ryan, no. Do you like anal? Uh, I can't say that I would. That's my cup of tea. Okay, so like, would you would you try would you try it? So I'm only going to do anal with my husband because you got to keep one of your holes sacred for God, you know? So what do you, how do you feel about marriage, Ryan? How do you feel about marriage? I love, I love marriage. I like Wait, that actually, this is my fun fact for you. How would you feel if I got your bite tattooed on my neck? <laughs> that, say that again, my what tattooed? Your bite. Mm. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. Okay. I, think you could, I think I would want to do something different. I would want to do another thing on the neck as opposed because i'm not i'm not a biter i'm actually very gentle i'm a vampire i like literally own you don't you can't see my bookshelf because i just moved but i literally have a bookshelf full of vampire porn that i normally have in my streaming setup because i'm a vampire because i go to sleep at 7 a.m um and i work nights so um i wanted to get a vampire bite on my neck and someone gave me the idea of um getting somebody's bite mark so i'd have we'd have to go to a dentist and get like the little thingy they put in your mouth that goes like this um, and then um, we take that to my tattoo artist because my tattoo artist is my best friend, and she would tattoo it on my neck in the vampire bite with the thing. Um, okay, cut and the then... bullshit. Cut the bullshit. Are you are you guys yeah. freaks? No. I live next to you. You would know. I I am a freak. Sometimes there are certain modes that I will get in where. I, I'm I'm ready to do something diabolical. But for the most part, I'm very mm -hmm. simple. I would not categorize myself as, wow, that's a really freaky ass guy. Not me. But given the right time window, it's like, whoa. So you that don't want to get your your bite on my neck? I want to get something else on your neck. Okay, just wanna... one more question and then we're gonna move on to the next girl. Dad, I don't know if this is going to work out. We discussed this yesterday. I've been literally on this topic for a hot ass minute. I was going to get someone's name tattooed on me so I could be my bite cum spot, you know? Um, it's like a possession thing. But then chat, somebody was like, oh, you know what you should do? You should get a bite mark because, you know, solidify the vampire aesthetic thing. Because usually I'm like a goth girl, but today I decided to be blue. I and... think my teeth wouldn't even make a good, because see how they're like, I don't have like fangs. They're all very. It is a bite cum spot. Symmetrical. We can change that. It would look like not vampire esque. Sorry. I just don't think he's into it. I'm sad. So you'd never want to do like a vampire fetish thing with blood. I'm not into the violence. I just want to. Do you like being the little or the big spoon? A little for sure. How do you sure. feel about right. cream pies on her period so you guys can make a strawberry milkshake? Mm. With the crazy stuff here. I love you, Tiff, but you know I hate messes that bad. I'm not yeah, bad. I'm gonna on that one. I'm I'm yeah. not depraved and horny enough for something like that. Yeah, that's uh, enough for me. Okay, well, to each their own. Um. Okay. Well, Oxy, I hope you had a fun time meeting Ryan. We're gonna bring you into round two, and we're we're gonna drag we're we're gonna drag you back into the waiting room, and then we're gonna drag in the next girl. Uh, Mods, can I please get Nina in here? I like your tattoos, by the way. Oh, thank you. We can talk about. <laughs> Got her ass out of there. Okay. Well, cool. Hello. Wait, and, uh, I'm so fucking damn confused. How the fuck this shit work? <laughs> okay. Okay, Nina. Wait, how the fuck do you turn this shit on? How do you? Can you so, like? Can someone teach me how to do this fuck shit? This is this is fucking insane. What the fuck? Who got the time for this shit? <laughs> Do you have a, do you have a do you see the camera button? Yo, I don't use this fucking app, bro. How the fuck? Okay. I don't see shit. Like, okay, tap the tap the screen. Alright, tap the screen. Do you see like a I'm camera button or anything? 
Yeah, I mean that shit is not working. Can you like click there's on? no video permission? Damn, bitch. I can't in your settings. Wait. Did you allow like video or something like that? Oh, wait, do you? I don't oh, actually man, hold on, hold on. I don't this think you have the roll. Give me a second. Right. Let me give me a second. Okay, I'm what the fuck? I got a roll. One second, one second. Okay, can you try again? I'm sorry, I'm gonna roast you. Try try again, oh. try again. All right, give me one sec. Oh shit. All right, hold on. Okay, oh, get it. <laughs> Can you, hi Nina, can you please do me a favor? Can you um unlock your phone so when you do have it like hot dog style, it can like actually just vertically flip or like, sorry, horizontally flip? Like, you know, in your like, like right here. Stop broadcasting? Is that what it is? No, like when you, like your actual phone setting. Oh, you want me to, what the fuck? This like, is getting too technical for my. All right, so I'll go to phone setting. What else do I do? Or like when, you know how. Uh, when you like scroll down on your iPhone, there's like the airplane mode, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, and then the lock button for your phone to lock it in. Yeah, what's up? Can you? Oh, uh, you talking about the one with two screens on it? Ye unlock that. Oh, yes. ooh, oh shit. Okay, 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 okay. That better? Perfect. Yay! Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, we did it. My fault. I don't. I don't do this technical shit. My, my fault. I don't. What? Who is that? What is your face? What the fuck? Okay, so, um, Nina, I'm gonna Nina, let you Nina, meet my friend Ryan. I'm gonna mute. I'll interject every once in a while, but you guys go ahead and get to know each other. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Stay left, stay left. Bye. Right. <laughs> so, Hi. Um, Hello. I have a, I have a really crazy question. Yeah, what's up? That I just want to start with. Oh Are shit! You... Give me one fucking second. Hold on. I gotta lower this shit. This is too damn fucking. Give me one second, dog. Hey, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> give, me, give me a sec, give me a sec. Ah, there oh we go. God. Okay, okay, yeah, keep going. Go ahead. So, with all due respect. Yeah, what's up? Are you a man? Nah, I get that a lot, though. They'd be like, you're a tranny. I'm like, right? I don't recall that. What the fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> it's all good, bro. Are Talk you looking at what I'm looking at? Yeah, bro, no, I get this shit. What the fuck seven. No, nah, you're fumbling. You're fumbling, bro. Look. What you mean? What you mean? He never got I'm, a chance anyway, so it's just, it's chill. So I'm looking towards the, the kind of cleavage area, and I'm like, okay. That appears right? to be a female sort of. I can't open this shit. Fucking okay, close. Okay. Thing. Yeah, keep going. So could you do me a favor and speak yeah. in your real voice? What you mean, real voice? This is my real fucking voice. What do you mean by that? Her real voice. Stop. stop it, stop it. Um. I right, okay. Hold on. That's like me saying, "Yo, let me check if you a man." Can I see a dick? Like. <laughs> You're familiar with the you movie White Chicks. Type of shit. Yeah. This looks like Asian chicks. Uh. Asian chicks. I do be kind of pale though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't know what it's I. Wow. So why are we this... roasting? Can we get to know each other? Both of you. Just ask each other yeah. no you know the no, just, Hey, no, listen, we chatting out here. All right, normal questions. Oh, what's your name, dog? Holy shit. Yeah, what's your name? What's your name? Oh, my name's Ryan. Uh, my name is Nina. Okay. And where did you sort of adopt this uh facade? Um, first of all, it's not a facade. Second okay. of all, um, I wish I was adopted, but I'm not. You feel me? Uh, New York City, born and raised. You feel me? Where you from? I'm from Maryland originally, <laughs> Southern Maryland. Oh damn, that explains it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Listen, Maryland is a good place. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just definitely, definitely a little. Um, Did you take off that jacket? What's up? I want to see. I want to see the shoulders on you. I don't want to see my shoulders. What the fuck I'm going trying on? to see your shoulders. I'm trying to see how you're built. Oh, how I'm built? Yeah. Say less. All right. Okay, those are looking like girl shoulders to me. Okay. They do be some girl shoulders. Okay. I can oh, oh, by the way, I don't, I don't think I don't think you know. Yeah, I'm fully certified female. My birth certificate. Just gonna let you know that real quick. Okay, that's cool. I, I don't want to press you too much on that. I'm just gonna go with it. So, let's start with this. Right. How has your, how has your dating history been? Oh, my has, dating history? Was it easy? Have you been a lot of boyfriends? 
Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I'm not gonna lie. So normally, you know, men, boys, whatever you want to call them, they they don't really, you know, they can they can try, but like, I feel like you know, kind of intimidate them a little bit because you know their little manhood, they get a little hurt. You know what I'm saying when they're next to me. I, I understand, you know, I understand. Because when you weak like that, it's tough. It's tough. It's okay. It's tough. So yeah. no, I haven't been in a relationship. No. What what type of guys do you normally go after? What demographic? Um, what type Asian, of guys? Asian, black, white, transgender, like, you know. I think, you I, think, I think Asian. I think Asian. But it's not okay. wrong with everyone else. You feel me? Like, listen, no discrimination, but, like, mostly probably Asian. Yeah. Okay. That's valid. Right. Uh, do you have, I want to think of some really deep questions here. Do right. You know, you know how to cook? Fuck yeah. What the fuck? Bitch got to eat. Fuck you mean? Would you say that you're submissive? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I got a question. Okay, let's hit it. You know how to cook? I can cook breakfast. I'm not talking, I'm not talking ramen. I can I'm only do I can't do dinners. Mm, mm, mm. So you're talking about like cereal and milk. That's what you're talking about. Talk about cereal, milk, milk. I'm talking air fryer, oatmeal. Oh, oh, oh. What? That's him right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you got it? yeah, I could do things like that, but that's that's, good. that's, that's good. irrelevant because I, I, what can you cook? Oh, I cook everything, anything and everything. Traditional Asian dishes. And what type of Asian are you, by the way? Oh, I'm Chinese. Oh, okay. Shout out China. Chinese. Um, Chinese. Shout out TikTok. Shit. <laughs> Xi Jinping <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, know, she's in gang. you know that's my that's my bro right there anyways but um i could cook anything so i'm talking like italian i'm talking chinese i'm talking fucking i'm fucking, i don't fucking know what else is that bitch thai fucking malaysian fucking okay. except for that mediterranean shit that greece and mediterranean shit i feel like it's just a, a bunch of oil like like uh, what they call that like olive oil mixed with random raw shit like i don't know what that is it's just it's not cooking but so are you big spoon or little spoon? Mm, I'm more of a ladle, you feel me? Ladle. Yeah, ladle. More of a ladle, bitch. Okay. And what does that look like? Mm, more like, hmm, like get the fuck away from me. Like more okay. like that. Like don't yeah, touch me, would... don't come near me. Like, you know, yeah. more like that. You know, a lot of space. Like, mm. Ladle, you feel me? Like ladle. So let me ask you this. You, you have a bit of a kind of masculine demeanor to you uh right 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 uh, are you ryan would you have like, do you have like or, oh wait i think i can hear myself can you uh ryan can you like maybe turn down your volume a little bit um sorry i was gonna ask uh are you are you submissive sometimes like would you let a woman dominate you in bed like spit in your face smack you maybe spit some chewed up popcorn in your mouth how do you feel about that? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, I eat my popcorn. I chew my whole shit. But, what the fuck? What the fuck that just got? Go ahead. Uh, to answer your question, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say I'm with all of the shenanigans with the right person. I am, I'm doing some visualization here. I don't quite see this being like the, oh, yeah. She's the type that I'd want to do that with. So if you want to like lower the volume, I even so I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no to your question. Like, for some reason, like my volume. I understand. Up. It's not for everyone. Hey, hey, I know, man. Shit, you just can't stand a foodie motherfucker. Like it is what it is. I would love to hear your authentic voice. That would be very interesting. But you do have a you got that Miley Cyrus. Okay, and that should be significantly louder. Chat one in the chat if you can hear too. All right. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. And okay. if they said it's too loud, uh, yeah. then okay. okay. So yeah. 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 If you were in a relationship, great. Thank are you. you gonna submit to your man. Hmm. Well, first you got to be a man. There's not a lot out there. You know what I'm saying? They're boys, but there's no men, hmm. right? So Alex, unless Alex. you are, I mean, what's the give and take? You feel me? Like a little shit. Like, I like you went here and there, whatever. But like you already know, I'm him. So like, I'm not gonna lie, no. I was gonna go my way or the highway type shit. Oh, okay. So, like Nina, would yeah. you say that you're like really dominant? 
I wouldn't say I'm dominant. I would just say I'm right. And I want the best for you. So it's it's the better route. How old are you? Me? Mm-hmm. You want to guess? Do you, do you want to guess that? You can guess that. Because, let's see. And can we get a can we get a full backup maybe potentially like a three sixty? He wants want an outfit of the day. Yeah. A three sixty? Uh uh-uh, uh, that is not part of this. Because <laughs> I saw this, I'm seeing the shoulders, but I want to see. If this progresses, then you might get a three sixty. But right now, it's getting it's getting the top. You feel me? It's, it's getting the just the the neck, the neck, and the fucking uh the shoulders. You feel Ryan, me? does it curve? Uh, mine doesn't. Uh, so you don't got a boomerang? Like, you don't got that? No, definitely not. That's not fun, man. You feel me? Boomerang gets... Yeah, I'm more, a, <laughs> I'm more of a right. carrot. A carrot? A what? A carrot. We you know more straight. Damn. So easy, easy snappable. Snappable. Yeah. Right. Damn. More prone to snapping, if we're being honest. More prone Damn. to snapping. Mm-hmm. So wait, let me ask, when you get like a sickle bitch, like I'm talking about like sickles, like just got the jatty on a hundred type shit. Like, do it hurt? like does that hurt? I'm gonna say I'd be thinking sometimes like if I had a dick and I and I like mac a big bitch, you know what I'm saying? That's the one big bitches. I love big bitches. But like if I mac a does the dick hurt? Like if they sit on it by accident, like does do you hear a little like Well, mine tends to be a bit more sensitive, so I, I can only do certain positions. I'm I'm not doing all crazy bent over because the sensitivity. You don't want it to bend right. too much or too much weight on it. So I have my positions that I tend to mm. grab towards because I, I, I think you know, it's sensitive. It's a sensitive area. I, I, I got it. It do be. It do be. Um, it's gotta it's be. like you don't want someone slapping your what you got. You know, it's it's like oh that hurt. You know, Ryan, Man. do you think that your parents would like Nina? Absolutely not. Why? Oh, no. Why? Um, they are. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm edgy. I'm, I'm a bit edgy to them. So, how do you think they would view <laughs> her if I'm edgy? Hey, if they I was you, I would not bring me home either. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> um, <laughs> How long does it take you to do your makeup every day? Um, probably like forty. Okay. Forty minutes. Uh, how often do you do it? Is it every day? Is it? Um, most of the time, yeah, every day because I gotta be somewhere. I'm posting or some shit, so I gotta okay. be, you know, outside. How do you feel about potentially not doing your makeup? Like, would you be okay with yourself if you weren't done up? Mm, yeah. I don't, I don't okay. mind me looking like a dyke. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't mind. I think if you put on makeup, there's a reason why you put on makeup, right? It's to look different. Feel me? So we don't have makeup on. Oh. Right. I have my own thoughts about that. Right, um, right. Now, say it, Sam. Voice him, voice him. I, I do like to, I do want to hear it, though. You feel me? Why? Do, who do you wear makeup for? If I'm being honest with you, I don't even wear makeup. Cause I'm like, damn, at first I started learning that shit from my friends. Cause they were like little prom and you know, little girls wanna like, ah, I wanna get, you know what I mean? Child, what do I do? What do Don't I nobody say? wanna pay for that shit? Like, bitch, what the fuck to get your face done up? You wanna pay a hundred? Fuck out of here. We're gonna learn that shit. Then it just became, I'm, I'm just gonna sum it up quick. I like drawing and shit. So I'm like, uh, I'm good with the hands and shit. So for me, makeup is like therapeutic a little bit. Okay. But Cause it can make, right. There's someone you're doing it for. No. Oh, shit, my fucking popcorn, bitch. <clears throat> yeah, no. There's no one that you... Who do you want to see the makeup? Myself? The fuck? Do you go to sleep with that on? Oh, no. Okay, mm-hmm. one more question, one more question, and then we're going to move on to the next girl. Wait, wait, I didn't answer that shit. Give me one okay, sec, okay, man. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, but to answer your question... When I do come home hella late, because I do nightlife and I do like host events and shit, mm-hmm. I do be sleeping with this shit on. You know, it just be like, oh shit, pass out, wake up, sun is up, oh fuck, I gotta be outside, you know, type shit. And it's another day again, you know? Okay. But it's really like, I take it off because at night I do skincare, you gotta make sure the skin is still clean and all that other shit, so. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, right. So I have like last question, but like I'm gonna I'm gonna ask it because this is my show, you know. So um, oh, oh, what, yeah, is, yeah. what is your favorite sex position? Ryan, you go first. Think here. Uh, it has to be the girl um, riding. I'm on my back. I'm relaxing. Right, right. The girl riding. And I'd be, let me not, I give you know, too many details, but, you know, they're doing their thing. Not like some crazy on her, you know, leapfrog. They're in that position. Just, oh. you know, I think uh, that, that explained it. Ryan, um, chat says that Nina looks like she'd doggy you. Is that true? Honestly. <laughs> yeah, probably. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Um, not to say that that's what I want, but I could I could see her attempting to try to put me in that position and me fighting back. <laughs> right, 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 right. It'd probably yeah. become a wrestling match than a fucking you like, know pit her down yeah. type shit. I think I think I I would win the wrestling match, but yeah, uh, I think she would have. I, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Uh, no, I see his shoulders. He ain't got, Nina, he ain't how do you, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about doggying him? Oh lord. I think I think that's very capable of me. That's something that is very accomplishable. I think that's a challenge that we can overhurdle. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that that's something that's very possible. If he's open to it, you know, keep it an open mind is why you live. You want to experience things, you know? Even if I show you a world, you just don't know about it. You know what I'm saying? Keep it open. Keep it open. Real life open. Keep it open. You feel me? Like open. Right. Okay. Open. Funny. Right. Good right. word. Okay, so um, I'm 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 I hope you guys had a fun time getting to know each other. Uh, Nina, we're gonna bring you back into round two. We're gonna bring in the next girl, okay? Um, I bet that. Bet. Yes, Kit Mod like or uh, whoever I think North Joe or Ryan, Nani. Go crazy. Please drag her out yes. and then drag in. Uh, let's drag in Lady Events, please, or whichever girl you oh. think. I don't. Uh, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. Uh -huh. Who cares? Yeah, nothing matters. Okay. Um, hi. Hi, can Hello. you turn on your camera? Okay. One second. Oh, wait, do you have the... Okay, wait. I think what happened was no one gave you the rule to be able to turn on oh. the camera. So can you try again? Uh, safe word is I love you, by the way. All right. Hi. You guys introduce each other. I'm going to mute and let you guys talk. Wonderful. So what is your name? Um, <clears throat> sorry. I'm Lady Ventus, but my name is Chi. Chi. Okay. My name is Ryan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ryan. Uh, what is your ethnicity? Um, I'm Hmong and Laos. Oh, M Mongolian. No, no, not Mongolian. Hmong. It's Mong. spelled H M O N G. And is that a? <laughs> I've never heard of that. Yeah. But I've heard of Laos before. Shout out Laos. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a cool mix. Dope. How old are you? I'm 24. Cool. Height? I'm 5'1". <laughs> okay. Um. Ryan, do you think you could uh, uh, fuck her mouth with her just standing up and not having to get on her knees? You know, <laughs> at 5'1", Technically, that, that would, <laughs> you know, he's, he's let me back. not even say yes or no to that, because I can't even say for sure whether I want to do that to someone like this. I mean, judging by the, ah, excuse me, uh, I don't know. I don't think she could handle any of that. And I hate <laughs> but would you let her try to handle all of that? You know, if she was adamant about it and was pressing me, I'd be like, ah, let's give it, a, we can give it a go. If she bugged me enough, we could we could attempt that. Uh, 
<clears throat> How many boyfriends have you had? Um, all my relationships, they've been long distance, to be mm. fair, online. So I never dated any guy in person. Damn. So you just been dating the what? Chat GPT. Uh, <laughs> and how long were these on were these long distance online relationships? Um duration. To be honest, there were about two years or less. I don't think they took me seriously anyway, so it's fine. Wow. You think they were cheating on you? <laughs> Probably. Mm, wow. I can tell you have a very kind heart. You have a very you have a very sweet demeanor, which I appreciate. What is the worst thing about you? My confidence, to be fair. <laughs> I'm my worst my I'm my worst enemy, to be fair. But you know what? What's funny is that's actually not a bad thing in terms of date, like in terms of talking to a guy. Like guys don't want a confident girl. Which is you, I didn't know if you know that, but your confidence has nothing to do with whether me or any guy would like you. In fact, guys like shy girls, truthfully. Just I wanted to put that out there for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> and there's there's the cat. Yes. And what what would you say is the best thing about you? The best attribute? Um Would you say that her best attribute is her pussy, cat? <laughs> Oh man, I don't. I'm not even a cat guy, to be honest. <laughs> well, what about but her pussy cat? I could tell. I think her. It's got some cobwebs on it. We're keeping it a buck fifty. What? Uh, but that's cool. I mean, that's hey. We don't. We don't want a lot of mileage. So damn. A lot of mileage she, is what crazy. You, what did you just use? Like a yeah. USB or something? A lot um, of mileage is crazy. Because yeah. of the online. It's, that was me trying to be funny. But anyway. Um, we're talking about the best thing about you. Um, usually when I put my mind to something, I like to do it well, I guess. And then mm. in terms of schoolwork, too. I like that. Okay. When you really got your head set on something, you can do it well. You really give it your all. Yeah, we can work with that. Uh, and... Man, I, I want to think of some good things here. Were you popular in high school? No, absolutely not. <laughs> what kind of a okay. weird dating question is this? You were one of the, what group were you in? The nerds, the, the Sorry, Chana, theater. Well, other women. theater. <laughs> no, 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 no. What, what was your clique? Did you have a clique? Were you the girl that... Cr like was in the bathroom crying at prom by yourself oh, no no i never even went to prom nor homecoming oh. okay <laughs> does it clap okay. does it clap this could be answered you know, by both of you guys shit mine don't uh <laughs> no i i i like this kind of sweet energy that i'm getting from you do you cuss at all okay i guess i'm just like ruining I do. it i just I do. I'm just like okay what's your favorite cuss word right now probably shit <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I like I like you because you know that I don't know if you've seen this, it was like Miranda Cosgrove. She was like, uh, oh, what's your favorite cuss word? Probably fuck. <laughs> and then like <laughs> laughing at it. That's how I know you don't be cussing because you gotta laugh after it. What type of guys do you like? What guys are you attracted to? Uh, I really like sweet guys, to be fair. I really like sweet guys. Interesting. Uh, sweet guys, but what ethnicity? What what stats are we looking at? Are you looking at tall? Are you looking at black? Are you looking at BBC? What are we like? <laughs> what? What's your? Um, I really like tall guys, but like a lot of the tall guys didn't like me, so it, eh, it's fine. I get well, what I get. Ryan, Damn. do you have turbulence? Do I have turbulence? I don't know what that <laughs> means. Like, can you oh, helicopter good. it? Um, again, I'm unfamiliar with that. <laughs> <laughs> of how that will work or what, what that does. So you might have to educate me. But, okay. Educate. You like, 
tall guys. So what if a guy's being mean to you? Like he's kind of an asshole and bossing you around or something. Is that not a turn on for you? Or do you not, you don't like that? I don't like that. Um, mm. If I met him online, he's blocked. <laughs> <laughs> in person i would just stop talking to them cut off connections ghost him have you been on a date in real life recently at all uh no oh my god okay you are really out of the game but that's cool i am so do you have any bodies uh probably three okay so there were there was some action happening at some point yes and when did that go down what could you say you're what 24 25 um i'm 24 um and it happened i want to say during high school and a little bit after high school but that's it right okay. would you want to be the fourth <laughs> you know uh i'm afraid i would hurt her i don't i don't want to cause anyone pain or anything i feel like she might be in pain or something so <laughs> I do, do you like tattoos on guys? I think they're fine. You think they're fine? That doesn't sound like you like them. That much. Gee, do you they're like okay. pain? No. <laughs> this is the, you know, you are the type of girl that can't lie. Like, if anyone I try to have you keep a secret, you'd be like, okay, it was us. We did it. We stole the thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. It depends. It depends. If I was like, don't tell anyone that I stole a thing. I was Ryan. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Um Ryan, I'm gonna let you ask one more question and then we're gonna move uh move on to the next girl and CG on round two. Last question. What do you think about me? Um You're very honest and blunt at least. And then you're very genuine as well. AK, you don't like me. <laughs> That's, cool. That's cool. It's okay. She's not even denying it. She's not even denying it. She's She's sorry. Above. It's not a problem. <laughs> okay, well, um, I hope you guys had a lot of fun meeting each other. We're going to move on to the next girl, and uh, uh, we'll see you round two, okay? All right, uh, can Amazing. we drag in Cindy, please? Can we please track in Cindy? And then you, you're gonna go back into the waiting room. Okay. Um, you get you get to meet my lovely friend Cindy. Are you excited? I'm ecstatic. You don't sound ecstatic. I'm thrilled. Hi. Oh wait, oh. shit. Let me. All right. Fuck. Let me drag her in. Hello. 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 Hey, Cindy, can you turn on your camera, please? Um, wait, girl, hold on a second. Can I get, like, two seconds? Yeah. Because I'm still driving, not going to lie. You're still driving. Okay, wait, should I bring in a, a different girl then? And then, like, uh, I'll have you next? Yeah. Okay. Bring someone else. Okay, okay. Hi. Hello? Oh, Cindy. <laughs> um, hello, Sunny? Sunny? I'm, it's looking like no mic action, no visual. Hello. Hi, oh, there can you turn your camera I on? did realize I was going to go dragged in. Hi, okay. Give me one second. Video? Yeah. Hi. Sorry, it took me a second. Hello? Hello. All right, I'm going to mute and let you guys get to know each other. Okay, sounds good. Amazing. Thank you. Um, your name is? Sunny. Sunny, okay. My name's name? Ryan. Nice to meet Ryan. you. Ryan, nice to meet you too. So could you give me a brief life story from birth until now? Yeah, uh, I grew up in Alaska on a reservation. Oh, wow. Um, and I 
did log rolling. I was a professional log roller, and I did lumber drilling. Chat, can you hear her? No way. Jack show. Yep. You don't uh, seem very, like. Oh, hold up, hold up. Because maybe the thing's hiding it. Okay, there it is. All right. Hiding it. There's yeah. the lumber drill. Yeah, so I did lumber drilling for a little bit, and um, that was like in high school. I did jewelry sales, and then I went to college, got a degree in psychology. Mm. Um, and now I'm just an old fart on the internet. Ryan, you? would you let her fart on you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I've been you know. asked, people have literally told me they'd pay me like a thousand dollars to fart on them and like offer to pay me and buy me the meal to, to assist with that yeah america <laughs> america people are weird man <laughs> would you so... let, would you fart on ryan for free mm. I don't. I don't think so. I'm sorry, Ryan. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. Ryan I was gonna say, opt like, out of the part. Top tier he's creme like, de la creme, why did you know. <laughs> Reserved for the Holy Spirit of God. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I'd. I'd be wanting her to fart. You know, there's certain girls, but it, that's really rare. The ones that you want yeah. to fart on, yeah, that's that's really rare. But you might be that girl. Wait, for you somebody. do you want a girl to fart on you? No, yes and no. Yeah. Yes. If there, if oh, there was a, yes. If there was a girl like me, and my friends have joked like a girl that's super, super bad. Like, bruh, I would eat fruity pebbles out of this girl's ass. Like, you know, something like that. And you wouldn't actually do it, but you're like, if it had to be someone, if so, if it was like, hey, bro, you got to pick someone to shit on you, or you got to pick someone to fart on you, bro. They'd be like, all right, I'll choose this one, but. That's that's reserved for like a one or two girls like on planet Earth type shit. On the planet. Oh, so who would that be in your book? He's I already, I already have her saved on my Instagram little save section. Well, who is it? Like you never know. You might blow up and then she'll be like, okay, I, like eat eat fruity pebbles out of my ass. He's on to something. We'll moon. schedule She's, it out. She is white and blonde, so for what it's worth. Well, you know, oh, Sunny seems weird. to be white and blonde, so I'm actually not. not. But... <laughs> oh, okay. Um, sorry. I am white passing though for what it. Oh, goes, really? What, what is worth? Yeah. So what? It, what, what are you um, like? I I'm I grew up on a reservation, so I'm Alaskan Native. Alaskan Native. Now, is that mm -hmm. just a fancy word for white? No, that's like a fancy word for Eskimo, which is a super racist term. Oh, so okay. We so you don't, native. you don't like that word Eskimo? No, it means uh, raw, eat me raw meat eater. Are uh, you a raw meat eater for Ryan? I am. I, I Oh, for Ryan. Uh, well, that changes things. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I like sushi, but I don't want a Ryan sushi roll. Mm. That's what you're asking. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what type of guys do you normally gravitate towards? I've been asking everyone this question. What's oh. your tip? What is my type? I don't. I wish I could actually give you a type, because um, mm. it's kind of like all over the map, you know. Okay. Like the whole color wheel. All uh, color wheel. All all weights. All heights. Oh, really big. Hefty. I've I've dated I've dated a polar bear. Yeah. Interesting. That's a great term for a polar bear. <laughs> so is it like a Skittles <laughs> taste the rainbow type shit? Yeah, it it's like it's like those band commercials of Taste the Rainbow that they don't let out. That's I wouldn't say I'm a polar bear. I'm I'm more of a winter fox. Um, oh, okay. If we had to pick an animal, but I see. You're a streamer. What is your? I am. Pick? Okay, streaming. Um, so I used to do a lot of e-girl content. I'm kind of trying oh. to get away from it a little bit, so. Now mm. I'm playing more video games. I just built a PC. So, I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's my baby. I put nice. so much work into it. Um, and why and do you then, want to get away from the, you said e-girl? Oh, um, just because, like, um, for one, it doesn't fulfill, like, my soul. Um, mm. I, I do feel like 
I get a lot of attention for it, but I don't get any monetary gain. Mm. I don't get any kind of, like, after a day being an e-girl, I kind of have to, like, just, ah. Because it's not you. It's not, you're putting on a facade. Like, you have to. I mean, I'm still myself. It's just, I'm wearing outfits that are revealing and having to do with people Mm. saying that I'm wearing revealing clothes all day. They just give more attention to it. Yeah. I could see how that would be uh, yeah. a bit frustrating. Yeah, it can be. But, you know, a, a lot of my community has stuck around because, you know, maybe they they originally came in for, like, what I looked like, but then came, came and stayed for my personality. So mm. Now that goes into my next question, which is, yeah. what is the what is your best character trait, in your opinion? What's the best thing about you? I like to leave a positive, lasting impression on every single person I meet. If I can do that, then I'm golden. I've done Mm -hmm. my job. I've done my thing. Like, literally every single person um, that has, like, reached out to me from the past has all said the same kind of thing. So, Okay. And now, what would you say is the worst thing about you? Your worst character trait? Like, how to intervene to make this more Uh, interesting. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily flaky, but when I get into my negative mindset, um, I do kind of like isolate myself and I don't want to be involved with people or anything like that. I'm just like, let me hibernate in my bed for like a week. Just leave me there to die. Mm. And then I come back and I'm like, what? Uh, That didn't happen at all. I don't, I don't know what the fuck that was. Hey, sorry. Okay. (laughs) Sorry about that. I just need like a week long nap. No big deal. <laughs> okay, what's your Do you like first... do you guys like getting your toes sucked? Do um no. no. I I had a guy put my foot in his mouth and I felt his uvula on my toes. Oh man. Ryan, would you ever shove your or sorry, um whoa, uh let a girl <laughs> shove her, her whole foot in your Would mouth. You shove your foot in a girl's mouth. <laughs> I'm doing neither of the two. I'm oh, not, not with the feet shit. I nothing about feet excites me. So unfortunately no. What are but... your opinions on astrology? Uh Sunny, you first. Ooh, okay. So with my degree in psychology, I think that um People have, um, like, a predisposition to believe anything that they've been told, even if they don't take on to it. So because of that, if they're told all the time that they're stubborn, they're going to take on that kind of personality. Like, I don't know. It's like a, it's a disposition. Spot on. Yeah. It, it is complete and other BS and malarkey and hoopla. And it's a way for lazy, stupid people to justify their lack of self-control and terrible character traits. Uh, it's a way for people to externalize accountability for all the things that happen in their life. And I'm familiar with this thing called the Barnum effect, where it's like when given broad, sweeping, generalized character traits about oneself, you just pick up the, you choose the things that you like and you disregard the things that don't really make any sense and you just roll with it oh mm. you're very stubborn i am pretty stubborn wow so <laughs> wow this oh is God. you're a rare breed Which, not a yeah. lot of girls like to oh uh, i still i still oh. like shit on people for their zodiac sign <laughs> like physically but that's just to be fuck <laughs> no not physically Hey, I heard recently that a lot of people pay really good money for that, especially in Dubai. I was shocked. Like, to get shit on? Like, literally, I heard that, like, people in Dubai pay really good money. I'm like, where's the Saudi princess for me? Like, Damn. I'll get paid to do it, I guess. I mean, how much money are we talking? If it's, like, half mil, I'm down. Okay, so yeah. one more question from Brian, and then yeah. we're going to move on to the next girl. And I- okay. <laughs> oh, one more question for me. I'm uh, meaning I'm asking it. Yes, yes. Incredible. So <laughs> let's do this. 
what type of what are your icks? What are things that you can't stand in a guy? Like, oh, don't do that around me. Oh, um, too much sweatiness. Okay. Yeah. But like, what if it was during sex? He's dripping on you. Bro, I don't, I don't want to be like dripped on like a fucking candle. Like, not, nah, like, not for me. Like, oh, I'm about to finish. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine just like getting fucking? <laughs> it's like the water torture test just on your fucking forehead the whole time. Like no, <laughs> no, okay. like get the fuck off of me. That's funny. Um, water torture. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Probably also going back from being way too cocky to like not showing any confidence at all. That was like Wait. another thing. You know, like, like pretending, like having a facade for cockiness, but then as soon as like something irritates you, then you're just like, oh no, I'm actually like really upset. And this like bothered me all along from the beginning. Like make up your fucking mind. Like if, if you're upset about something, just say it and don't like put up a facade that you're okay. And then not something. Wow. Yeah. Respect. Sounds like I, I'm hurting. Sorry. Sounds like a very specific thing that happened. Sounds like a really specific thing. No, that was good. I'm not okay. hurting. I promise. Okay. All right, great. Well, it was nice to meet you. You'll see you again nice. in round two. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna drag you back into the waiting room, and I'm gonna drag in our last girl. And uh, okay. yeah, then after that, we're gonna head into round two. Okay. Oh, yeah. Bye, Sunny. Bye. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh, can go. you do me a favor? Can you turn your camera uh hot dog style and then can you unlock your phone so like you know it flips oh, with it? I was just gonna ask how do you do that? Oh, there it Great. is. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> mute and I'm gonna let you guys talk. Alrighty. So <laughs> how are you doing this fine evening? Good. How are you? I'm amazing. <laughs> um, I think we we've spoken once before. Uh, it's nice to see you again. How have you been? What have you been doing in your daily life? Um, well, I moved. I moved to Korean town. Um, just making content. But you're Chinese. What? You're Chinese, though, right? Yeah, I am Chinese. Okay. Chinese living in Korea town. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, I, I, love Korean, I love Korean culture. Oh, I love it too. <laughs> Squid Games. Squid Games. That's a good show. Love Ryan, that. do you like motorboating? <laughs> right Motor now, I do. <laughs> what is motorboating? Stephanie, what's the definition? Uh, Ryan, do you want to explain what motorboating is to her? I would say it's just a uh, when you're, <laughs> you know, I don't like when I have to not, like say what it is. You need to say what it is as the host. Okay, well, it's when uh, um, someone puts their face in between a girl's knockers and just goes like a motorboat. Oh, okay. That sounds fun. So, what's your dating life been like in the past? What's my dating life? Yeah, my so. life has been I'm single still. Um I don't know, I'm just doing me, waiting for the right one. Okay, do you go out to clubs and parties a lot? No, actually. I stopped. Um if I go, it would be for like an event that I have to it's like for networking, either networking or friends and stuff okay. yeah because so, last time I met, it like got me like this new job and stuff so i'm really glad i was able to okay find good so what type you of go out clubs no nah. i am i don't go to clubs i don't go to parties um nothing of that sort 
I'm a I'm a very much a homebody. Okay, I'm a homebody too. Okay, that's good. Uh, we can oh, watch Squid Ryan Game is at... games together at, at home. <laughs> yeah, I do like Squid games. I can watch that show as many times. Bro. Um, I haven't gotten like those like um those cracker things, you know, where you have to like pick out different shapes. I still haven't done that. And yeah. that was like very popular and there was like restaurants open for it. Too. Really? I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Um you know what I'm talking about, right? I know the little cutout little yeah, yeah. umbrella thing. Mm-hmm. That's cool. So <laughs> do you th- I have so many questions for you. Um do you go to the gym? What's your kind of upkeep routine for yourself? How do you stay um like healthy do you gym are you eating salads are you smoking weed every day like what's what's so yeah i do care about my physical well-being i like hiking i like spending like an hour a day in nature today it was kind of gloomy and i was actually trying to go hiking but the weather kind of brought me down so i didn't go hiking today um Mm. yeah what do you like to do be active i like to I like to go to the gym. I also like to play soccer whenever I can. It's my favorite thing. Um, what position do you play when you play soccer? I play striker. Uh, so you're a runner? Yeah. Would you uh, consider yourself a fast runner? Fast, faster than you. Really? You want to race? <laughs> we we should track, race. I did track and field. Really? You did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I did. I was a I was a full time like sprinter. Like I did very heavy workout days. Two man, hours. I feel like that might be hard as a girl. Like when you've got stuff like here that's kind of getting in your way. Like it. Well, this didn't even like grow until like at the end of like high school or towards college. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. You're talking about my girls. Uh, what do you, <laughs> what are your first impressions of me? I know we had spoken before in the past, but yeah, what do you, uh, think on about me? Date, on this day so far? Yeah. Um, you sound lovely. Um, I'm having a great time just chatting with you about That's good. whatever. Um, what are your pet peeves? My pet peeves? Mm-hmm. Hmm. like 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 stuff that i don't like that people do or just like what guys do like, that i don't like um it can be guy related or just in general okay um hmm. i feel like i don't really i try not to be like annoyed by anything okay i don't find anything like maybe like after like you eat and so like picking up after yourself and stuff like that like being clean i think that's very important being clean taking good care of your hygiene um yeah being organized ryan Uh, why do you keep looking down on your at your phone oh i'm not what are you looking at then i was um my nail was kind of bothering me okay just wondering Uh, she also has a very mesmerizing sort of tone, and I'm just like, wow. It's kind of had me, like, daydreaming a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so what's your pet peeve? Man. Smelly people. If you smell bad, mm-hmm. I hate that shit. Uh, people who are on edge in public. Like, if you get angered easily... Or take life too serious, or take things too serious. I hate that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, long fingernails, which is why I was looking down because I kept looking at my fingernails. Like it's getting too long. I'm starting to get angry. Uh, do you uh, get your nails done often? I don't get my nails done, but I trim them. Like I obviously keep them up, like trimmed. Do you ever paint them? Nah. No. Definitely not. Uh-huh. That will never be my That's thing. Too feminine for you. It, it is painted. 
For me, it is. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, some dudes can pull it off for, for their sort of aesthetic, but that is definitely not mine at all. Uh, you... What's your job? What's your career? What do you do? Yo, Ryan looks like he's using a microwave I still for his camera. take pictures and make videos for a living. Um, just trying to keep like promoting myself on the media. That's my job is to keep doing that. Okay. And, and making connections, of course, too. Oh, yeah, make, networking. Yeah, networking, of course. Like, out here is the perfect way to network, to really put yourself out in the media, you know? You okay. Know. Valid. But, yeah, put yourself out there. That's good. Last thing I'll say here is, do you have any wife? Like, what makes you wifeable? If you had to sell yourself, like, hey, here's why I'm the perfect wife, what would you say? Perfect wife? Um, Do you think you're wife material? I'm not ready to marry anybody anytime soon. Uh, so you, you're not wife material, you would say? I wouldn't say I'm not. Like, I will, like, I want to have kids someday. So, of course, I'm going to be someone's wife, right? But right now... You're saying that if I'm wife, like, am I ready to have kids right now? No, I'm not ready to have kids. Well, yeah, not not right now. But I was gonna say, like, what are your sort of wifely attributes or character traits that you ha that you possess that would make someone want to wife you up? Um, I'm loving. I care a lot about just myself and like people around me. So. Mm -hmm. Valid. Like and, um, I take good care of myself. I'm independent. Um, I'm ambitious. Mm. And I have goals. I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff that I want to do for myself. And, like, just want to grow with someone, too. Okay. And last thing I'm going to say. This is the last question. But, and what is... What's the worst thing about you? Your worst character trait? The worst character trait? I don't have a worst character trait. Oh, you're just no flaws. I mean, like, I, Confident. I, I wouldn't say I have no flaws. I just don't want, like, usually think, like, bad things about myself. Hmm. You have nothing that someone wouldn't like about you or a, a flaw or anything. then yeah hey you might just be perfect. i'm not perfect like i definitely have things that i like to like you know keep working towards and stuff but like i'm really really like putting me on the spot like i have to like think about um yeah that is the, what that about, is the i don't really um if you don't have any that's cool bad character trait hmm. Um, indecisiveness. Oh, being decisive. But being decisive isn't always a bad quality, though. Sometimes it's good. I I would I don't think being indecisive is good in any way. I would I would disagree because sometimes you know you gotta really think. Being decisive means like you you gotta think about your choices, you know. Instead of just like being impulsive and choosing to do something, I think when I'm indecisive, it's because I like think before I do something. Mm. I would argue that indecisiveness means like an excess of that, like you're not able to make a decision as opposed to an informed decision. Like you can make an informed decision, like you can think and then mm. decide. Whereas indecisive is like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, eventually I'll make a decision, right? I don't know how to end this. That's how I think of when I am indecisive. But... Okay, well, I'm going to make the decision to move on to the next girl. So, Cindy, thank you for your time. You're, I'm going to drag you back into the waiting room. So stay there. And then we have one more girl that joined. And then and then we're going to get on to round two. Holy shit. Okay. All right. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Cindy. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. One more.
Wait, oops. <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, camera's not on. Can you turn your camera on? <laughs> See if it worked. Oh, hello. I think it is on. Wait, are you talking to me? Yes, yes. Yeah, I think you just turned okay. it off. You can see me now? Yes. Can you do me a favor? Can you um unlock your phones and like flip it horizontal so it can full screen? Perfect. Wait, why can I cannot see myself? That's okay. All you need to see is all you need to see is Ryan. Okay, I'm gonna mute and let you guys talk to each oh, other. Okay. God. Okay. Amazing. Um, I, I'm digging the stuffed animals in the background. I can't see. I can't see where my phone is. You good? Yeah, your angle looks good. This Yo, looks I good. I have the same okay. stuffed animals. Yeah, don't have me looking crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. Um, Dude, Chad, there's some stuffed a, animals in the yeah? background. She's so cute. Duh. Yeah. That is precious. Who's are those yours? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. cool. So, who's else would could you be? tell me where you're from? Maybe a little bit about you. Bro, came back to oh, oh, I'm from Seattle. Oh, my name is Zoe. Okay. Zoe from 101? Seattle. No. Please. Are you? Everyone what's your says that. Huh? What's your ethnicity? I'm half black, half white. Oh, same. So oh, really? What up, sis? Match made in heaven. All right, don't tell mom. Sibling. Don't tell mom. That's weird. Dude. That might be weird. Bro, you if you guys... were my that would be fucked, bro. Would you guys role play as step bro and step sis? Like, for example, for example, Ryan, what would you do if one day you came home and Zoe just happened to be stuck in the in the dishwasher? Oh, I, I to the fullest extent, I try to help her out of there. Uh, Wait, why would I be stuck in? <laughs> um, hey, sometimes people get stuck in things and they need help. Okay, yeah. And the type of caring person I am, I would be right on the scene immediately. Uh, yeah. Zoe, is that you? I'll be right there. <laughs> then I, I definitely come to your rescue. Um, I feel like I'm better off in the dishwasher. No, nah, you'd probably be like better. Maybe off. just leave me. No, I'd probably, I'd probably get you. I'd make sure oh. you, you were oh. under supervision. Uh, let me think here. What were, oh, we were talking about, um, okay, sibling, huh? Zoe 101. Okay, so kind of like, and you're black and white, so you don't like the Zoe 101 comparison. You don't like that. Everybody says that. My name is Z-O-E, not Z-O-E-1. Z-O-E. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's a cool way to spell it. So is it um, Zoe or Zoe? Zoe 101 in the hood. I think you could do the reboot. Oh. Fuck. In the hood. Because I'm half black. Yeah, just like. <laughs> you'd be like, because you know how they're making all the, the new spinoffs and the new things? They're making everything black and they're making everything minority and everything. You would be. In the, the hood. New... Yeah, you'd be, you'd be Zoe. Oh. I don't know, three hundred four or something. I don't know. Oh my God, Ryan, you're selling. Uh... So look, <laughs> so what? I got so many questions for you. You know who you look like? You ever get compared to a certain person? Um. Yes, actually, yes. If you say this person, I'm thinking of somebody who I don't even know if everybody knows, but it's just someone who I think you look like. It's an Instagram model girl. I feel like I already know what you're about to say. Okay. Her name's Ash Cash. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah. It's just She's kind of... pretty. I just yeah. don't see it at all. I'm doing? You're a, you're a, you look Riz? to be a bit more of a slender build. Yeah. Is this Riz? She, she seems to be, a, you know, she got some weight on her. Not that I've been studying her Instagram or nothing, but yeah. What type of guys do you normally go go for? Um, normally like athletes, but I don't want to, so I kind of want to change that. You know, you're looking to more get into like the YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 
No, we could definitely navigate that. Uh, <laughs> so you'd be fucking with like the tall black men. Dark skin or light skin? Uh, dark skin, but I, I don't discriminate. Yeah. If they have a good personality, that's all I really care about. I would never discriminate. Oh, of course. Me neither. I, the whole color wheel is free game for me. Yeah. You know, anyone can get it. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot okay. to I forgot to say that the safe word is I love you. And what does that mean? Is that is that if I want to go? So, I have to like, go. for example, if you get uncomfortable, if you go, get uncomfortable, the safe word is I love you. And I'll I'll intervene. OK, no, I'm not. I'm very comfortable. Um, so. <laughs> What's if we were to go on a date, our first date? What would your ideal perfect first date look like? Probably, definitely not bowling. Um, sorry. Probably okay. go to like the beach or something. Oh no no no! Go to dinner, and then go to the beach after. Dinner and then nighttime beach vibe. And like low key get like drunk at the beach. I feel like that's fun. Okay, I don't have to get in the water, right? We have to. Get, get okay. To oh, at night. Actually, going snorkeling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, my nickname is Rhino, so I'm more of a land mammal. So I'm. I tend to stay away from the water. Would you say it's that okay. you're horny? Okay. <laughs> yes, that is the one thing me and Rhinos have in common, is. Constantly horny. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, how tall are you, Zoe? I'm five three. Okay, that's a nice height. That's a nice. Uh, we can we can work with that for sure. How tall are you? I'm six one. No basket. It's not a basketball player height, but uh, you're only six one. Only six, six one. one. Really? That's crazy. I don't say only. I feel like six one is. I just thought you were taller. You know, like six one. Is okay, tall. I look. I look a bit taller. And yeah. Okay, well, six one is not short, but <laughs> it's not okay. short. No, I just thought yeah, you were. I don't know the Mobambas that you've been messing with, but only you know, six whatever. one. That's crazy. Uh, so, what do you? What's your first impression of me? As we're talking. Um. My first impression, <laughs> you seem nice. Mm. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little weary of that word. Oh, you seem uh kind. Mm. Oh God, you don't think I could disrespect you and no, bust you around a little bit? Like, you have, like nice boy vibes, like oh, nice boy, oh, okay. like, a little sweetie pie. Okay, <laughs> a little yeah. sweetie pie. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, gosh. that's uh. Is that not the case? Oh God. Or. To to be fair, I have a big heart. I I definitely care about people deeply. So I would I would never lie and say that I'm some sort of bad boy villain by any means. <laughs> uh. Hey Zoe, uh, chat wants to know if you're a freak. <laughs> um, no comment. <laughs> All right. It, you know, sometimes. What are you gonna, uh, Sorry, Chad, I tried. Yeah, let me say this. Girls, because I'm looking at you, Zoe. I'm kind of looking at your. So no face one said that once. Like Gabe literally said Girls that. like do you. you, know how to, you do got, you know how to read? You're almost so cute that it's like, I don't even want to do anything with you. Like, it, this might come across as crazy. This is a hot. This is, I've never, I've never said something like this before, but. Okay. When a, when a girl is at, like, normal looking you know maybe nice body whatever and they're like they're cute but they're not that cute you almost feel more inclined like you feel more sexually drawn to them like yeah i, I would do xyz like yeah whereas when they look like you it's almost like i don't even want to touch her like i kind of like, love that it's I like art it. where you're this mona lisa sort of uh, like, untouchable sort of artwork that I don't even want to grab. Oh, no, I don't She's want to touch like, it. Like, the you're lying. lying. So I'm I like that, like, though. I like the sound of it. Wants to know, um, um, you are lying. But it's okay. 
You think I'm lying? Yeah. About what? <laughs> All right, I'm uh, everything you just said. Let them ask one more question, and then I have to move on. There's like so many. What would you rate yourself when I ten? I need to end this by eleven. I would give myself a ten. You give yourself a ten. Confidence. I feel like everybody should give themselves a ten. I they like should. That. But for the first time in human <laughs> history, for the first time in human history, the girl that rated herself a ten, it might actually be accurate. Um, what are you gonna I rate me? I think everybody should. Ooh. Nah, because not everyone oh. is a ten. I'm not a ten. I feel like self confidence, like. Ooh. It doesn't matter if you're not a 10, but sometimes if you act like you're a 10, then it kind of makes you a 10, you know? I mean, you can, you can act confident, I'm, but you could be a confident 7. Oh, no, I'm very into uh, objective reality and not uh, kind of how things ought to be. I would love to be a 10. That would be awesome. But that's what I'm not. I'm not. And to say otherwise would be me. I'd be lying. That's crazy. I'd give you a 10. Uh, you would not give me a 10. Let's be accurate here. Let's. I just gave you accurate? I'm being for real. I would give you a 10. Personality matters. Okay, Zoe, I'm going to do oh. one more question, mm -hmm. and then we're going to move on to the next round. But Zoe, I'm going to let you ask Ryan the question this time. Let me just, before she oh. says anything, that's funny. She said, I'll give you a 10. And I'm like, okay, thank you. And she goes, because personality really matters. Because <laughs> you're ugly, you're not ugly. I'm saying like, personality no, like give you a ten because I mean yeah. personality is really good. Because it's like I do. Okay. That's what anyway. I mean. uh, yeah, that I guess I can. Um. Oh my god, I don't know what to ask. Um. Hmm. Did we? We did. We covered a lot of things. Um, we did cover a lot of things. I was gonna ask you about like your ideal date, but I could do that. Okay. Um, my ideal date with you, we would go to we would, we would have a really nice brunch at some upscale brunch spot. I'd be getting some turkey avocado panini type thing. Uh, I would order you a matcha tea. It would be like very good. Do you, do you like matcha? I like mimosas. I'd get you the mimosa. Okay. Yeah. And then we would go to this place. It's something. It's called the something library. Uh, it's called like the fucking Huntington Library. It's this place in LA. Very beautiful. They have this nice little Asian garden thing. And I would take you there. And we'd walk around looking at the bonsais and all that stuff. And talk. Chill. And I, we would end the night at a nice dinner. So we would do like a food, go to a little sightseeing, museum-esque place, nice grass, statues, whatever, and then go to a nice dinner. And then uh, back to my crib at, after the dinner. And probably just make some air fryer s'mores. And then I'd, I'd show you how to make the s'mores. You'd be eating them, and I'd be like feeding it to you. And you'd be like, oh, my God, it's so messy. And then I'd be like, nah, stop, whatever. And then we would kiss. So, yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. That was actually, like, very detailed. Have yeah, you thought about this before? Or? Right, I mean, right when I first saw you pop on here, I was like, wow. I was you already thinking. That whole scenario, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I usually do that, too. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Cute. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to drag you into the other room. And then after that, I'm going to drag in all of the girls. And we're going to get, we're going to let Ryan eliminate two. So I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Hello. All right. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to turn my camera on so you can see me for a second. How, how do you feel about, uh, how do you feel about the girls so far? That was a fun mixed bag. Um... I definitely have some favorites and some not so favorites. So do you have girls that you like remember you have to eliminate two. So do you already know like Damn. <laughs> like you guys bite on that thing. <laughs> do you already know like you know, you're like, gonna you're kick gonna... out? Um You're not gonna like my one answer. Actually, no, I know I know who's gonna go. Okay. 
All right, are you ready? I'm going to bring them all in. I'm going to make them all turn on the cameras. Yeah, I don't know if I know all their names. Are they going to be popped up on the thing? Okay, well, try your best. I don't. I definitely don't know their names, but... Okay, well, I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to tell them what's going on, and then, yeah. Okay. Actually, I don't know if I should do that, because all of them have their camera on. So I'm, I'm not going to do that, actually. I'm just going to drag them all in. I'm ready. There you go. Oh. This ratio. I didn't, awesome. I didn't see that. Hi everyone. Um, can you all turn your cameras on for me? Wait, how uh, the fuck? I'm doing this shit. This shit. And then okay. can everyone also mute? Can I have one of your popsicles? Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah. They're, okay, in the, they're in the freezer. What's getting my boy? Am I am I muted? What the Does fuck? Does everyone have their camera on? Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six. This yeah, is all the girls. It. I think we're missing one. We are. We're missing the white. Excuse we're missing me. Sunny Bay. Is Sunny yeah. coming back? Me? No, oh. Sunny is coming back, I think. Sunny? Did you guys yeah, have mm. Oh, she's Sunny, not waiting. I'm out this okay, oh. oh. Okay. Okay, Sunny, can you turn your camera on? Yes, yes, yes. Sunny with the chance of me, bud. Damn, we I'm like a Marvel team over here. The fuck? Okay. <laughs> um, so is this everyone? I can't. One, two, three. Yeah, four, this is everyone. Six. Okay, That's this is everyone. One. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. so Ryan, I'm sure you met a bunch of beautiful women tonight, but it's time to get rid of two. So Ooh. we're, uh, we're going to let you do mm -hmm. that real quick. So let's start off with the first one. Okay. Is everyone's configuration the same? Like if if I point here, does is everyone is this the same person for everyone? Because I could technically be like boom, boom. Is is am I making any sense, Tiff? Wait, sorry, what? I kind of zoned out. I was <laughs> yeah. Uh, what were you saying? I'm saying I'm saying if is everyone configured on the same screen? Like if I point down, is this Z Zoe to everyone or no? I don't know. Yes, I think. Yeah, it's this is Zoe, and then this is Sunny. Okay. Right? No, 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 not for me. No. Oh no. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, like if well, you like, hover on there, Ryan. Yeah. If you hover, you can also read their names. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Uh, oh. My oh, my name is Pimp Daddy. Just call me okay. Pimp Daddy. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. All right. I'll I'll cut straight to the the chase. This was incredible. Everybody had great energy. Um. The first person I'm going to eliminate is going to be Lady Ventus, Ventus, whatever, because she said she didn't like me, and that's okay. <laughs> uh, I definitely am not going to choose someone who doesn't like me. So she was so sweet. So thank you. Um, All right, now she, it was really nice having you here. Have a very great night. Love you much. Bye. I love your cats. I love your cats. She has two cats. Yeah, two cats. Those cats. Oh, yeah. good riddance. Now, um, damn, mama, shit. Playing, I'm playing. I'm playing. She was, a, she was honestly the sweetest. Like, for sweet, real. She is sweet. Uh, I asked her to cuss, and she said shit, and then laughed. It was so cute. Um, Aww. next person. You know what? I'm gonna have to eliminate. Sunny Bay, because I was getting the vibe that Sunny didn't like me as well. I wasn't getting mm -hmm. a representation of the energy, and that's just what I was sensing. I could be right, but yeah, very yeah. incredible person. So thank you, thank you. I'm shocked. Nice you. Nice you, girl. I'm shocked. The whole thank time you. I was sipping for her, I have like her. a 20 minute video of me simping for her. So this is crazy <laughs> to me. I'm like, stop. Nice. Cool. I was Everybody. dying. So, so cute. Okay, okay. Sunny. Thank well, thank you, you so much for joining tonight. Really thank appreciate you. you. Have a very great night, beautiful. Thank you. You are Bye. fire, Sunny. Thank you. Okay, so um, this is round two, girls. The stakes are high because next round he's gonna. I think I'll get this damn far. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Next, he's gonna eliminate one of you guys next round. Okay, so um, I'm gonna let Ryan ask a question. Chat, if you want me to go ahead and ask. A question as well feel free to leave it in chat and i'll think about it 
but um yeah ryan i'm gonna let you ask first and then i'll call the girls one by one to answer okay so here we go it's christmas morning mm -hmm. and i invited you over you're with my family it's the most mm -hmm. beautiful white christmas ever there's snow mm -hmm. outside uh, what gift are you bringing my mom? Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Hold on. Hmm. Oh. Okay, Cindy, can you go first? So... If I'm bringing a gift for your mom, I would like probably ask you stuff that she likes. Um, I personally love candles. Uh, nothing can go wrong with like really good smelly candles. Um, so I would probably ask you honestly, like, hey, what do you? What does your mom like? Because I want her to be happy. You know, I want her to be happy with the gifts that she likes. Um, right. Yeah. So, and I think like the dot, thought that counts, that's what matters. So it doesn't have to be very expensive or anything like that. But yeah, mm. my answer. Okay. That was very clear. Okay. Okay. Um, Oxy. So um, I'm Mexican, so um, I can't cook, but my grandma, oh. my mom can cook. So it'd probably be tamales uh, because they probably Ooh. have them ready. And if I'm not, late. like, food ready. So it'd just be, like, whatever they have, like, leftovers, because leftovers hit. Mm. And also, I feel like 80% of the time when people get gifts, you're like, oh, I didn't even like that. You know what I mean? But, like, food, like, really good food, like, hits different. Mm. That's a great answer. Uh, Nina, can you mute your mic until um, um, you're ready to answer, by the way? Thank you. Talk a lot. Hold on. Wait, actually, um, it is your turn now. <laughs> But like when it's not your turn, are you able to mute your mic? Sorry, my fault. Shut up. Well, well not now. Because oh, I say exactly. Not? Doesn't shut up. Okay. <laughs> On my turn. Yeah. Well, first off, I'm Chinese. So I only celebrate Christmas. You know, big booty gang over here. But like, um, you know, I think I'm a very experienced person. Like, I like. Oh, not 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 like that. I mean, like, I like experiences more than like gifts, right? Because you can really buy anything if you really want. Money comes and goes. So for me. I think, well, first, girls' day. Like, I'll give her, like, a little one of those little voucher tickets. I'll be like, hey, listen, like, you get to go here, spa day with me type bullshit. Like, no boys allowed. Like, girls' day type shit. And, like, maybe go on, like, a full, like, retreat. Like, maybe two days or something. Like, you know, because they need it. They need it. Like, food all cooked for you. Because the last thing you want to be doing as a gift is, like, cooking that shit all day. Like, you know what I mean? And then, like, maybe even water park or something like that. Something she enjoys, like, activity-wise, right? It could be relaxing. It could be axe throwing. It could be break room. It could be golfing. Goddamn, whatever the hell, you know, she enjoys doing. So, that'd be cool. Okay. That's it. Okay. Valid. Zoe? Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Um, not gonna lie, I'm a terrible gift giver. I think it's actually embarrassing. Um, but I would probably give her like flowers, flowers, because I feel like who doesn't like flowers, especially she's a mom. I feel like all all moms like flowers, and I would probably give her like a gift card to like I don't know wherever you say she likes like Starbucks or something, but like to get her nails done. I probably wouldn't do the most. Just because, just yeah. Dope. Respect. Okay, I have a question. Um, for all the girls, uh, what would you rate Ryan on a scale of one to ten? Cindy, you go first. Here we go. Here comes the cat. <laughs> I would rate Ryan a nine. Why? Can you elaborate? Well, I don't think I can give him a 10. 
because we're just we're just friends. So do you need to be more honest. than friends? Um, well, we're we're dating right now, right? So yes, like we're on this e date and stuff. So yeah, like I have to like really you know go on more dates and stuff and get to know him, and then maybe he'll become twelve. I don't know. Okay, uh, Oxy. I was discussing with the jury what we were rating him, so I'm upset I was next. Are you uh, able to like? Are you able to make your camera like normal on Discord? I don't. Okay, honestly, I have to say a ten because Rhino did not like if anybody did not show interest in him. So we have to say ten, and that's the right answer. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. See, I would, I want to be like, oh, thank you, but I don't think anybody's a ten. Uh, I think I'm far from a ten, but I appreciate the compliment. Wait, I'm so sorry. Sorry, I'm so sorry to interrupt this. Um, Oxy, are you able to like full screen your Discord camera for when I clip you? Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, and then okay, okay, Nina. Yeah. Damn, this shit is mad tedious. Okay, but um, out of a 10. Hmm. Ay -ya. Let's see this shit. <laughs> okay, um, out of a 10, I'll say 8.5. I think personality-wise, very nice, easy going. Can get my humor, you know? Like, you know, uh, don't get too butthurt. Because, you know, I know some people get a little, a certain things, you know? But, yeah. Very chill guy. Nice guy. Respect. Sure. You're growing on me, for sure. I didn't... <laughs> uh, I didn't like you at first, but... Oh, you know, what? I was, like, kind of pressing you, and you were rolling with the punches, so uh, you're definitely growing on me. Thank okay. You. Appreciate, that. appreciate that, appreciate that. Um, Zoe? Fitted hat gang. <laughs> Twins. Twins. Um, gang. Siblings. Siblings. Um, Siblings I would give Riz. him. I would give him like a solid eight. I would say he's really funny. Has a great personality. He's nice, and he's also cute. So, but I don't know him well enough, so I can't give him a higher rate than that. Wait, but you did say a 10 earlier. So, like, which one is it? What happened to the 10? Say... <laughs> yeah. You're right. You got me, though. You got me, though. I, you know what? That was my first impression rate. The first impression rate was a 10. But now, like, overall, it's an 8 because I have to get to know him more. You know what I mean? Yeah, that made perfect sense. I think that makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you, like, close your ears and, like, yeah, then it makes sense, yeah. Uh, Ryan, would you say all women do is lie? Uh, that's not all they do. Uh, because there's a bunch of other shit, but it is, it's probably 85% of what they do. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna let you actually ask one more question, and then I'll let you eliminate one. Okay. All right. I think I might have asked this, but we'll do this to them. I need the ladies to rate themselves one out of a hundred on looks alone, no personality, no vibes, looks alone, and be honest. Okay, um, Cindy? Oh, guys, see if we're, by the way, is I love you. And... To add another caveat, uh, with no makeup on too, because everyone it looks it appears that people here are wearing makeup. Fresh face out of the shower. What do you look like? One out of a hundred. Okay, Cindy. Um, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna joke. I was like, ah, I'm a two. Yeah, ugly as fuck. Actually, um, because that's you know. All that matters is my looks, right? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But um, 
I don't know. I'm like 7.5. Out of 100? I think she forgot about the scale. Hello? You know Hello? Wait, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. My, my friend was like face anything. But did you hear what I said? My response. So it's 7.5 out of 100? Yeah, I'm a 7.5. I'm a C plus. Wait, wait no, like. It's okay, a, yeah, a... well, she, she gave her answer. Okay. Okay. Um, perfect. Okay, um, Oxy? I don't know. This is such a stressful question. Can I pick safe words? I would prefer no, but if you would like to use the safe word, which is I love you, you have to look into Ryan's eyes deeply and say that, then yeah, we you can skip the question, yeah. I can lie. He said women, all we do is lie. I can lie. So, yeah. So are you using the safe word? That's true. I don't know how to do math. Um, okay, so... Yeah, I'm using the safe word. I'm like, I love you. Wait, can you say that again? I heard it. Oh my god. Wait, sorry, I didn't I love hear you. it. I said it multiple times. Wait, I'm I love sorry. you. Whoa. I hate it here. I literally hate it here. Wait, Ryan, can you remind me what the safe word is again? Uh, the safe word is I love you. Okay. Um. Uh. Next. Next person. Uh. Nina. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. All right, hold on. I should have black. What was the question again? Um, uh. Rate yeah. yourself one out of oh. uh, out of a hundred based on looks alone. Fresh no makeup, face. Right? No makeup. Mm, out of a hundred. Damn, that's kind of hard. I ain't gonna cap. Um. I'll say I think it's a seventy-nine out of hundred. Okay. I don't think I look too far off from what I look like right now. I mean, I know this makeup, but I mean, okay. you can't really morph your features makeup. Sure. Okay. Seventy-nine. Seventy-nine. Almost eighty. But not, uh, don't get there. Okay. That's All it. Right. Okay, um, um uh, Zoe? Um, me personally, I would give myself an 100. Mm. Perfect. Straight to the point. Okay, um, Ryan, now that you know a little bit more about these beautiful women, can you please tell me the one girl you are going to eliminate? I am reluctantly going to have to eliminate Cindy only because I saw her texting and I, I didn't feel like I had as much of her attention as the other people. They, everyone else was really engaged. No, know? I had someone was calling me. I had to um, tell them to not call me when I was streaming. I was in text. I was texting so he doesn't just interrupts. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? That's a valid <laughs> excuse. Not trying to pay attention to. Are you? That's actually that's a valid reason. And, yeah, um, he was calling me and trying to interrupt. So I was like, please stop. I'm trying to focus on Ryan. Yeah. Um, okay, so unfortunately, there are no returns um, in my e-dating policy. But thank you so much, Cindy, for uh, no for joining us tonight. I really appreciate you taking your time. All right. Have a great night. I love you, Mommy. I love you, too. Bye. Whoa. Okay. So uh, we got we got three. We got three women now. That is crazy. Um, so I guess we're moving on to uh, round round three. The uh, the questions will get spicier. So I have some questions to ask you guys um, for Ryan. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to start off with Oxy. Oxy, uh, would you let Ryan drink your breast milk? I don't want kids, so no. But um, I own seven anime swords and a dual disc, so 
I also own multiple One Piece booster boxes. So, you know, we could play a couple card games, a couple fancy ones. I own probably $10,000 worth of really good cards in just the One Piece collection. So just saying, like, you don't know what that is. That's really tragic. It happened. Okay, I I I uh, I really appreciate the fact that you have a dual disc. Um, Nina, would you let Ryan drink your breast milk? Um, <clears throat> no, I'd rather have my own milk to myself. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wait. So I'm, what I'm you're trying to that. say is like you would drink your own breast milk? Oh, I would keep it where it's supposed to be, like right here. You know, I keep it. I keep it in this bitch. You know, it's okay. Like, it don't gotta go out far. You know. Yeah, but what if you had like so much to the point where like it would be like a waste if you just like threw the breast milk away? And he was like, "Hey, honey, like right. I happen to have ran out of almond milk for my for my protein shake. So, um, can I borrow your breast milk? Like, would you let him? Right. Um, we can always make milk, like like out of cashews. You know, <laughs> whatever the fuck is in the house. Like out of soybeans. We're probably gonna have that in the crib. You know. Like, I don't fucking know. Goddamn, drink, drink fucking water. Shit, <laughs> it's not my damn thing. Like, shit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh. All right. Um. Zoe. Um. Personally, I'm not really into that. I think it's a bit strange, and I wouldn't want him to be looked at as strange. You know, I care about. You know, I'd oh, let I'd let my man drink you know, my breast milk. I care about his persona <laughs> and yeah, your image. I don't want people to make fun of you. So, also, it's weird, and I wouldn't allow you to do that. Okay, Ryan, I'm sorry that none of these girls would uh, let you drink um, their breast milk, but um, let's say hypothetically speaking, like if we were together, like I would let you drink my breast milk. Yeah, I'd be all over that. Okay. Um. So, I, next question. Uh, um, yeah. Next. <laughs> Ryan. Um. You go ahead and ask. Oh. All right. Oh, this is because I'm actually starting to. I'm starting to feel myself kind of fall for all three of you at this point. So I'm really trying to get to the nitty gritty <laughs> here. Okay. Okay. What do each of y'all like the most about me? What about me do you like? And it could be nothing. There could be very few things. But I want to know what about me is appealing to you or my best features, my best anything, personality. Eh, I want like a really meaningful thing, not like you're cool or um, you have a nice cardigan or something like that. But just what do you like about me? Okay. Um, Oxy, I'm going to let you answer the question first. I was literally screaming, Tiffany, please don't make me first. Every Let's, single time. It can, be, it can be somebody else. Let's do that. Okay, okay. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's summer. just that you're the first on my screen. So, um, I'm just I'm going by so order. Sorry, Tiff. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, we'll let Zoe go first then. Um, but it was what do we like most? Yeah. About you? Okay. Yeah. I like your personality a lot. I think you're very funny. And that's very big to me when it comes to a guy because a lot of guys are not funny. And I hate being the funny one in the relationship. So the fact that I think you're funnier than me is really big. And yeah. And I also think you seem yeah. very genuine, very nice person. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, Nina. God damn, this mute button game real annoying. But um, uh, what do I really like about you? Let me think. Hmm. The cardigan is nice, but that's not it. That's not it. That's not it, though. That's not it. I'm fucking around. But um, I think what it is is I like direct people because I'm very direct myself. So like. If you're able to be like, hey, yo, like, I'm not really feeling a vibe, this and that, like, I like people like that. You know what I mean? Direct people straight to the shit, because I don't really like wasting time. Like, bro, if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. And keeping yourself high quality, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody don't show an interest, like, same energy. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's like, equal shit. Because you don't never want to be like, 
and then someone else here or like you know in balance so i fuck with that for real facts thank you yeah. amazing right. okay oxy it's your turn uh i feel like that's a shallow answer because they gave you two like um more mo i guess modest answers i like your tattoos so i don't know mm. you probably can tell a story um that's important yeah i like people i can talk as you can see i've been talking the whole time cool thank you appreciate that <laughs> okay so um tattoos. ryan it's time to eliminate one oh. girl muted oh should i shut up Sorry. No, uh, I just I just make a comment. I've been talking to my yeah, chat the whole time, I was so I'm weird. like, see, like tattoos have a lot of stories. So like, I don't know. I I just like to talk and tell stories a lot. Like I love talking. So I was like, that would be really interesting to me. I like in an <laughs> honest fashion. Yeah, I would definitely start talking about them. People are like, oh, what do your tattoos mean? And it's like, it means I'm fucking cool. Like, what the fuck? Um, That's with tattoos. I agree. Yeah. Do either y'all have tattoos, Zoe or uh, Nina? Oh, look at that. You guys <laughs> can said. feel free to unmute. Feel free to unmute. Oh, here we go. Oh. I got you right now, boy. All right. Okay, yeah, here yeah. we go. And then we got on my back. Oh, hold on. It's just like the serpent and the dagger. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, type shit. Oh, what the fuck is in my damn hair? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I also have no, a serpent. I have a red Gyarados, but I can't show you because Shut it's on my up. belly, this uh, area. Uh, so I was it's like, okay. It's okay. yeah, I'm TOS right now, but it's okay. I'm, I'm going to go back to you. All right. And then Zoe had one or two there, or two or three. Boom. Boom. Okay. Okay. Wait, uh, I have something to say. It's important. Okay, so like Rhino, I know this is your e dating show, but Zoe, I was just gonna say you don't need tattoos because you're a work of art, and I was just screaming into my camera like, why didn't he say that? Because I'm in love with you. Like I'm like Jesus, Rhino. There's so much you could say about her, and I'm like, stop fumbling the bag. Like I'm frustrated. Ryan, you have competition. It looks like. Ooh, yeah, I am. What's going on? Like, you're so beautiful. You don't understand. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't gonna lie. I think I'm the best RZA here. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking Zoe <laughs> home. I'm playing with me, yo. All right, I'm gonna go back to me before I steal all your bitches. Oh, that. whoa, whoa. Um, um okay, so, uh, wait, wait, wait. Um, Nina and Oxy, I have a quick question for you. So, um, um, if you could take Zoe out on a date, <laughs> what, where would you take her? <laughs> Uh, I'll see you first. Who goes first? Who goes first? Okay, I'm down. Okay, if I could take you on a date, hold on, let me think for a second. Um, hmm. <laughs> I mean, would you say that you're a nerd? Because I, I don't know if you can tell I'm a big ass fucking nerd gamer geek. Are you? I play Minecraft. I feel like oh, that's pretty new. Okay, do. so what we would do is we'd go to little Tokyo on. Wait, are you in LA? Where are you in the world? Don't I'm in Seattle. You. Oh, Seattle. Well, you'd come down to LA. And um, I'd be like, hey, Tiffany, um, would you be cool with like, you know, leaving for the weekend, you know, maybe going somewhere else or you can come with us, but like, you know, giving us some alone time, you know what I mean? And first we would go to little Tokyo, we'd get like sushi of some sort, some sort of bougie little spot, maybe some Japanese food, I don't know. Oh God, and then we'd go to like the card shop yeah, and I could either Ryan. A, show you all the nerdy things that I'm into and the figurines because oh I just know where all the best um, Gundams are. And if you don't know what a Gundam is, I will introduce you. And then after that, we'd go to the manga store and we'd like awkwardly, like slowly our hands would fall on the like manga. And I'd be like, oh, I'm touching my hand. And you'd be like, no, are you? And I'd be like, oh my God, ooh, woo. And then, um, I don't know, we'd just like <laughs> oh, woo? Shit, go home, man. watch some like Spirited Away, How's Moving Castle. But if you're like into something more like not cutesy anime, maybe some red line, get high. And if we're not vibing, you might hate out, me. You, like, I don't like anime. You might hate oh. me. It's okay. It's okay. Not a deal breaker. Yeah, no, I it's not because you know why you say that. But you, I've watched so much anime that I know I could find something in the genre you'd like. Like, do you like Avatar: The Last Airbender? How about uh, Boondocks? Yeah, actually, there's a lot of like Japanese references that's to Boondocks. Like, it's just crazy. No, I like no. reviewed them recently. That's like a type of. Am I? Yeah. Is that no? You're you're fine. Okay. Yeah, there's different types of that's stuff that is like super. <laughs> 
similar. Yeah, I'm yeah. open. I'm definitely open to like they can be stuff in English. You don't have to watch subtitles, you know. Okay. All right, so that that was not gonna lie, that was cute. That was cute. But you want a real you want a real film like me, you know what I'm saying? So let me show you what's up. So first we're gonna start, I'm gonna cook you a little breakfast, you feel me? Whatever style you like, you like Mediterranean, you like Italian, you like Chinese, say less. I got you, baby. And then and then I already know you, I see your nails. We're gonna get you a new set, you know what I'm saying? After a new set. I'm like, you don't got to do your makeup. We're going to hire a makeup artist to do your makeup. You sit there and look pretty, you feel me? You could sleep. You're going to wake up with a beat face. Yeah. Hair? Don't got to worry about that. We got someone else for that, too, while you sleep. You feel me? Then we're going to go get you a massage, a nice cat packer, crack those backs you got. You know what I'm saying? Your shoulders are going to low, you know? So they're going to bring them back up. You feel me? Then, then we're going to go to a spa <laughs> retreat. We love spa retreats over here. Saunas, whatever the fuck you want. Then, of course, wine and dine. It got to be some good shit, you know, whatever you want. Then I'm going to book you a private, a, a, a trip on my private jet. I'm going to swerve, swerve that bitch. And I'm like, yo, hop in, bitch. You're going to go wherever the fuck you want to go. Right, wherever the fuck you want to go. I'm talking about Paris. I'm talking about China, Great Wall of China. We're walking that hoe right now. You feel me? If you don't want to walk, I'll carry you right now, you know? Okay, you straight on my back. After that, we're going to get you some good dumplings. Okay, some valid fucking dumplings from Beijing, bitch. Yeah. After that, if you want to go around the world twice, I got you too, you know. Light work, light work, light work. And then, like, real shit, though, how to end the night. Make sure you in a jacuzzi real nice, real, you know, relax. After that, we're going to walk the little beach, you know, walk the little beach, get a little tired, come back. Oh, pedals on the bed already set up. So we got a whole Mexican band. Going off and shit in the best spot seat or whatever the fuck. And then, you know, yeah, you know, after that. How did the song go again? Despacito? No, you did like a little kind of demonstration of how it's. Uh... Yeah, oh, oh, nine, 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 whatever the fuck. Is that how it goes? I don't fucking know. I'm not saying okay. Chinese. But I'm the Mexican person, that was 100% the song. I can hard vouch for her. Okay, so really? before. I don't even know. Oh, shit. I'm a before genius. Okay. we move back onto Ryan, because we are trying to find him love, ladies. Um, oh, right, Zoe, yeah, I have yeah. just like one question for you. <laughs> have you ever had three women at the same time? Shit, um, <laughs> I actually the other. <laughs> no, the no, other no, I'm talking. Day... I'm talking to Zoe, not you, Ryan. <laughs> so have you ever? Had Ryan just told me. No <laughs> three, three women at the same time. Three women that just I happen to be not. Vietnamese, Chinese, and and Mex Mexican. <clears throat> um, You're Vietnamese. I, I I'm Vietnamese. Yeah. Oh, said I Vietnam. Yeah. Ham Choi. Okay, that's it. Ham Choi. Ham Choi. Ham Choi. Wait, I just learned the other one the other day. It was Ham Choi and then... Yeah, just keep going. I'm fucking retarded. Keep going. Those were really creative. So, like, yes? No? Would you? Definitely. Wait. Which... Are we talking about the dates or what we were talking about? Just saying, like, in general, like, would you ever have three girls at the same time? Oh. That, I... I don't know. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm pansexual, and I don't think I could have three girls either. I could have one girl. Three that girls sounds kind of crazy. Yeah. I'm like, three is a lot. Like, valid. Oh, no. I'm valid answer. I'm, just like, I'm barely even a girl, so. Valid answer. Like, is this corn hub? I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't valid. even know what's going on anymore. I don't know what's going on either. Okay, so, um, uh, Ryan, would you ever have three girls at the same time? Um, I was going to answer that. I thought you were asking me because I was just didn't think. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry. Um, yeah, I, I actually the other like last week I almost had a threesome. Um, I just, uh, I just needed two what? more girls to make it happen. So. All right, all right. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Saw that one coming. Like that. Um, <laughs> no, I'm actually not into that. I'm actually not into uh, all that. I just want one woman. Uh, right. I'm not into the extra shenanigans and the extra and the hoopla. Well, I want to put all my energy on one. Yeah, no hoopla. Oh, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You mind if I ask a question? Would, ahead, you, would you ever um would you ever fuck a tranny? Stop. All right, next one. Okay. Um, what? Um, uh, all right. Uh. Okay. Next question. Yeah, Ryan. How about we just leave the questions to you? Let's just leave the right. questions to you. Um. 
What All right, fuck? I'm ready to get down to the nitty gritty. All right. Not to draw anything out or make it too long. If you could be any animal in the world, what would you choose and why? Uh -oh. Or maybe you could tell me, I want to know that and I also want to know what is your favorite animal? Because you might want to be a different animal than what your favorite animal is. Give me that. What animal would you turn into if you could? And uh, I thought about this extensively for most of my life. And uh, yeah, what's your favorite animal? A little two-part question. Okay, uh, Nina, we're going to let you go first this time. Okay. I think, okay. So um, what animal would I be? I would be a pigeon. Because I'm from New York. Yo, gang shit. But like, um, pigeon, because I get to be nosy and like look at everyone's life. Like, oh, they fucking over here. Oh, over here, they having a threesome. You know, kind of that shit. <laughs> and also, like, threesome. the food is good in New York. Like, fuck, man. I be eating good. I'm going to get fat as fuck. Bro. <laughs> and then um, my favorite animal is sea turtles. Because, because, they, first of all, they don't kill no animals to be eating them. So they don't, they don't be doing nobody no harm. You know, they just live in life and being, like, lit. And then they're also... I like them because they carry, like, they are home. Like, they have their homes on their back. Like, they never need nothing mm. to, like, like, you know what I mean? They don't need, like, oh, I need this specific thing. Like, yeah, you need to be in the water, obviously. But, like, you know, they have their homes on the back. So they're always secure in a way. And, like, if they ever need, like, if anyone ever attacks them, they can always hide in their own shell. Like, they, they hold their own, but they don't hurt nobody else, you know? But that's it. I like that. I like that. Okay. Incredible. Okay, great answer, Zoe. Yeah, W answer, um, yeah. I would be a clownfish because I really... Okay. Okay, I hate this question. <laughs> I think it's the stupidest question ever. But I would be a clownfish. And I know it sounds dumb. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, it's cute. It's like... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like, oh, oh I would have you to be a clownfish. Because <laughs> they live in those little uh, sea anemones. And they're so cute. Is it... Is it echoing? Yeah, I think it's echoing on Ryan's side. Sorry. Sorry, I suck. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah, they live in the sea anemones, and it's just really cute because, like, there's so many of them, and they're, like, the cutest things ever. And also, the ocean is really cool. I feel like it would be so fun to, like, actually live in the ocean. I don't know. Um, also... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my favorite animal is a pug. Mm. That's a great animal, but that's my favorite animal. I would do anything to have a baby pug. So, Aww, she's yeah. so cute. That's my answer. I'm just going to interject I, and I say mine, her. just for what it's worth. I want her. Um, I know nobody cares, but I've been waiting to say this for like 20 years. So, um, even though it's all muted completely, um, I guess I'm the only one that can hear. Okay, anyway, I would be. My favorite animal is a uh, orangutan. I fucking love those things. And they're just beautiful. And I would be a tiger if I could be any animal. Preferably like a white like a white tiger, I think would be fucking dope. But uh yeah, I, I find them to be cool where if I could you know, I could be on a girl and I could be like purring and they'd be like, oh my God, like that's so like dope. But it's also like badass. So it's like cute and badass at the same time. Very much like me, obviously. But yeah, I just want to put that out there. Sorry. No need to apologize, my king. Um, Oxy, your turn. Okay, so uh, I think I look like a baby sloth, but I want to be the orange sorry my favorite animal is the uh golden tamarind monkey and just the way they like hold hands is literally me i literally hold hands like that like all my friends or whatever because i'm like overtly friendly and like small and like like being held and love cuddling with my friends like that's me like all the time and that's my energy um and then I look like a baby sloth, specifically this photo, because I've thought about this. Also, the golden tamarind has my eyes, because I have giant eyes. Where's the baby sloth? Sorry, hold on. <laughs> I love this question. Also, Rhino, why are you not a rhino if your name is Rhino? You would think that. I think that. we're all asking, um, thinking about that. 
I do they... find rhinos to be beautiful, but uh they're endangered. Yeah, I guess he's just not horny enough. Also, you said earlier that rhinos can't swim. Rhinos can swim. Can they? Yeah, they can swim very well. They live in Africa, near the waters, near the crocodiles too. I thought hippo. I thought that was hippos. Yeah, but they can both swim because rhinos are like horses. They're like most similar to horses. A rhino in the water before. I gotta look into that. Yeah, they can. I, I used to be used it. to read the zoo books for rhinos, and I remember this specifically hmm. in my childhood. Okay, I'll have to. Let me look into that. Anyway, thank you for you guys' answers. Those were great. Okay. Um. So one more, just, I'm sorry, one more question, actually, before you uh, eliminate. Let's make these answers quick, though. Um, okay. Uh, I have a question for the girls. Should a girl be able to have, like, guy best friends? Um, <laughs> uh, Oxy, I'm going to let you answer first. Um, that's a okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Okay. First of all, I'm really faithful and I've never cheated. And, uh, I dated a dude and literally like he would go out at like every weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and he'd be out till two or 3 AM or whatever. And I like never was like in his business, never checked his phone, wasn't worried about it because honestly, like if you're going to cheat, you're going to cheat and it's inevitable. You know what I mean? It's like a genetic thing. Um, cause some people should be polyamorous and some people aren't, I am monogamous. Um, and, uh, like the biggest thing for me is like, you know where I am cause I'm a streamer and I stream night times and pretty much every night I'm just playing league of legends till 7.00 AM. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Also, I did like <laughs> feminist studies and I, I learned about like, you know, peop some people are polyamorous and that's why cheating is so wrong now. And it's because people are open to that side of them. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you are polyamorous. Like they just are capable of loving more people fairly. And some people aren't, and that's okay. Um, but personally, like I can have guy best friends. They could have female like best friends. I trust them. Uh, if they cheat or something happens, it was going to happen anyways. There's like nothing you can do about it, right? That's why marriage, like the concept is so crazy now. Uh, that was like the nerd answer, sorry. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Thank you for yeah. answering. Uh, Nina, your turn. Well, that always on fucking not me. What the fuck is wrong with me? God damn it. Hold on. All right. Um, what's the, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm fucking retarded. What's the question? Uh, the question is, um, are you, are girls allowed to have like guy best friends? Are girls allowed to have guy best friends? Um, from what I've seen and what I experienced, somehow our feelings always get involved. So, um, no. Yeah. Or actually, actually, it really depends because it depends on a girl because they're actually straightforward, honest people. Wait, you know, what's your point? Yo, oh God, oh God, I'm not laughing. Right now. It's not the time, dog. You're doing three much. Yo, this is crazy. First of all, this dude, nah, nah, don't cover your face up now, boy. Come back. This is crazy. This is crazy. Sorry. I don't got no bitch ass boyfriend. Fuck that. Hell no. I'm good. I'm good being single. I'm great. Anyways, so. Yo, you're doing three months. You're sucking my dick hard. Anyways, um, I would say it depends on the girl, right? If she can really, really separate, like, be hard on boundaries, like, hey, we can be best friends, but, like, this, 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 like, we can't be doing this, we can't be doing that, or you can't be, do not come back and say nothing, I swear to God, yo. Damn. Anyways, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but if there's a girl who's, like, don't know how to assert boundaries and stuff, then, yes, you can't be having no guy friends like that. So it really depends, right? Cause me with my guy friends, I'm very broy with them. Like it, one is one, two is two. Like you feel me? Like it's very you gotta be straightforward with that kind of stuff. But yeah, I would say it, it depends on the girl. Okay. Okay. Thank you, um, Zoe. Mm -hmm. I agree with them. Honestly, I think it really depends on the person. I, me personally, I'm very loyal. I've always been loyal. I don't do that cheating shit. Like I don't play that. So like. I don't think it's any issue if I have guy friends. And also, like some people, like I have like a boy best friend, but he's like a close family friend and I've known him since I was like born. So I feel like that doesn't count. And I've never like, and don't look like that. And cause first off, he's ugly. Second, I would never like him. Like that's like, like my family, like I call him my cousin. So it's like, it's, you know, 
kind of feels like family and so that's kind of sick anyways but yeah I feel like really it just depends on the person and I think if I had a guy friend and my boyfriend felt uncomfortable about it then that would just be a conversation that we need to have okay thank you for that all right so uh Ryan I, I'm sure you've gotten to know these lovely ladies very well tonight, but sadly, it is time to uh, do, to delete one of them. Damn. So, uh, if you can, go ahead and pull the trigger. This one's hard. Um, and I just stalked y'all's Instagrams real quick, too, because oh. uh, I really wanted to make the best decision. Um... Oh, uh, huh, that's why he was looking down, chat. Mm, okay. All right, I'm trying to be quick. I am going to eliminate auxiliary. And and, and th that one hurts because you're very beautiful. And I've actually been wanting to find a kind of anime chick streamer girl so it, effectively you were making my dreams come true he wants to eat but pussy i don't think again my answer would be because you i don't think you were feeling me as much and that's why i had to have to let you go um, okay, well, it was nice meeting you. Um, hope you have a great rest of your night. Uh, thanks for having me on. It was fun. I was really enjoyable and uh, entertaining. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, have a great night. Appreciate Bye. you. Bye, Oxy. Thank, Thank you for you. joining. Love you. Okay. All yeah, right. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to leave that quickly. Oh, my God. I was no, like, oh, okay, I was okay. like, okay, we're good. Okay, cheers, bye. best. It's cool. Me? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think I would say I'm pissed. If you actually like rewatch the VOD, I was very like, I don't know, into like, I don't know. I thought you guys had different chemistries in different places. And I think it's fine. Mm. Good night. Good night. Okay, so <clears throat> we have two very lovely ladies, love. Two very beautiful, lovely ladies. Two very beautiful personalities. So, um, yeah, Ryan, I'm going to let you take the board. Maybe ask some very important questions that are like, like very like, uh, uh what's the word um um like you know where it's like yeah anyway i'll get to yeah. it so um yeah. imagine i'm sick hey hey let's say we're dating hey babe i you come in while i'm sleeping babe i've come down with the worst cold what are you gonna do to take care of me and nurse me back to health Let's start with Nina first. Okay, okay, okay. There's Nina. Like first, right? People will say soup, but that shit don't fucking work. So, um, <laughs> I would say herbal medicine because it always fucking works. And I'm Chinese, so you know we got the good shit. And then uh, herbal medicine, and it's always good to go on a little walk, right? A little walk, a little fresh air. You know, crack the window open, feel the fucking breeze. And oh shit, I'm fucking alive. And it's always it's always good to laugh. I think laughing is the best medicine. That's like the best thing. If you lift the mood, bro, everything's gonna be good. And then obviously if it's a fever, you gotta fucking put the put the fucking shit on the head or whatever the fuck. And I think um just like chilling, relaxing, right? And afterwards just like I'll get, and also stay busy. Like I feel like when you are really sick and you sit in there and you're like, damn, I'm sick, you get even more, more sick. So being busy, distracting yourself a little bit, you just feel a little better. I think mm. Ballad. And real quick, what's your bra size, by the way? <laughs> mm. A bra size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you really trying to calculate how much milk is in there type shit? Like, is this like, what's going on? Like, it was just, it popped how much head. cereal do you have? Like, what the fuck? He has a lot but, of cereal, um, so he gonna need a lot of milk. Too much, cereal. <laughs> too much cereal. I'm double D. Yes. Oh, that changes things. Okay. All right. Oh, oh wow. Oh, um, wow. Okay. You know, you know, right. uh, Ryan has some D for you. Okay, so anyway, um, uh, ha, ha. It's good, Tiffany. That was going. That was going. Uh -huh. <laughs> that got me. Okay. Uh, the healing question for Zobo. 
I'm more thinking of cute nicknames. Damn it. My dad calls me that. Sobo. Oh, Ryan so could be your dad. I can see myself as like <laughs> What? Nothing. Uh, go on. You can start with the question. Okay. Um. Well, I am no doctor. I really, when I'm sick, I kind of just like push through it. But I guess like if you need like medicine or something, I can get you that. Oh. Um, <laughs> and also, I feel like I feel like I would make you food. Um, and I feel like we could watch movies. That's what I do if I'm sick and like I don't really want to get up and do anything. Or we could binge watch like Dance Moms or Bad Girls Club. And I feel like that would make you feel <laughs> I feel like that would make you feel better. Like I don't know. I I don't know how to answer this. Oh um this is completely hypothetical. If I was sick. Would you kiss me? A little peck. Babe, I'm feeling... Thank you so much for the soup. It <laughs> depends how sick. If you have a cold, yeah. If you're, like, vomiting, no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I feel like I would okay. kiss my significant okay, so other if cold, you Cold, okay. Vomiting, no. Okay. Like, chat, like, if my significant then, other is sick, I guess I mean, I'm uh, ending uh, up uh, sick, Nina? too. Sorry. All right, nipple dick. Shit, we going, we doing that? We doing that? Okay, what, what question you want to ask? Oh, no, I was saying if I if I wanted to kiss while I was sick, would you do that? Right, right. Um, well, first, if we were dating, then yes. But if we aren't, we're just getting to know each other, I would not do that. No. Mm. It needs okay. to be, I need to know where I'm at. Yeah. Okay. Valid. Right. I am a firm believer in a like if my significant other is sick like I guess like I will also end up being sick with them because like I would just like want to I would want to like spend time with them and like obviously like try to like get them help them feel better type shit and I'm you know I if I love them which I probably will be I'll be with them I'm gonna want to kiss them you know what I mean so like you know if you if you have COVID like I guess like I'm suffering with you you know we could suffer together like I'd rather, you, I'd rather be in pain with you instead of like having you rot in bed alone type shit. I'm, yeah, okay. but I'm not gonna lie. I don't ever get sick. You know, I'm just I'm just him. So yeah, keep going. <laughs> but if 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 your SO is throwing up, are you gonna kiss him right out? Yeah, that's a that's a big fucking no no. But unless I I'll give you some mouthwash and then like, you know, you could continue after that. But like even that I need some, I need a little brush out king, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe like a few minutes, you know, um, and then like a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, tip, you're, are you doing the kiss after the thought? Um, I would p probably be like, hey, like, you know, can you, can you do a little rinse out of your mouth real quick? Okay. And then a kiss, you know? Okay. And no, for Zoe, for the, I can't rinse. Maybe like a, what, a few hour waiting period? You hour, bro. If you got like a stomach bug, I'm not gonna lie. Like you gotta stay away from me for like, like few days. Like I'm not trying to get that. Me okay. personally, like I feel like I wouldn't want my partner to get sick. It, like if I'm sick, I don't want them to get sick because why would I want them to suffer? You know. So yeah, okay. we got Facetime. <laughs> we could be in the same room, just don't need to be like you know down each other's throats. But... Okay. Um, you know, I, like, I, have... I feel like people like we've like kissed our partners, you know, after like you know, um, a swallowing. So like I feel like it's not the worst to kiss. I feel like it's not the worst to kiss them after like you throw up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe anyway, it's just me. maybe so... it's just me. okay. Next question. Sorry, sorry. I just like I had to intervene. Like my intrusive thoughts, they always win. Um, the, the last one I want to know is what's the hardest thing you've had to overcome in your life and how did you overcome it? Why are you acting like I just spoke Chinese? Um, 
racism riz okay so uh okay well i mean ryan i guess like i didn't say this but like you can choose the girl to answer first oh wonderful uh to y'all uh let's start with zo not the slow blink getting hot in here <laughs> am i wearing a shirt yeah She's i, am. A, I so really awkward. hate this question um I think it's a I, really, I don't off. know how to. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know how to answer. Like, I don't think I've definitely been through stuff in my life, but nothing like crazy where I feel like it's like a big story that would even mean anything. You never went like, through any sort of hardship or challenge that you then had to overcome. I have, but like, I feel like I just have terrible memory. Like, I don't know what to think. Of. Like, um. Hmm. Okay. We'll let Nina attempt it. Yeah. I Okay. <clears throat> I got a couple. But um I think the biggest one for me was uh I guess Well so let's say most most recent one would be like um weight change. So, like, for me, I never, like, I used to be 180, right? And, like, growing up, my whole hey, life, like, I was sorry. thickums. Sorry. Right. Go I was thickums. I was thickums, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's, I want to let all the girls know, like, there's nothing wrong with that. You feel me? But, like, for me, I never even thought about, like, losing weight type shit. But it actually happened because someone made, said that, hey, it would be funny if Nina was at the gym. And in my head, I was like, yo, I would never pay to sweat. What kind of dumb ass do, do that shit? Like, are you dumb? But, like, I did it just to troll them, you know? And then I did, I went to, to go in the gym and troll people. And then I don't know, somehow a bitch dropped like 50 pounds. So I was like, God damn. But I think the hardest part for me, I want to gain all that weight back because I didn't realize I lost all that. It like just happened. Like literally it just happened. Like it just dropped. And I was like, oh man, like I was eating normal and everything. I just got more active type shit. But you just realize that people really around you, everything is visual. Like they care so much about visual. Like everything is how you look. Everything is. Da, 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 da. Like, I'm still the same person, right? But just because certain people, I know how they would act if I looked a different way, but they acted completely nice, nicer or this, or they somehow didn't like me because I didn't talk to them. And, like, you know, people that would fuck with me usually didn't come up to me, wasn't as friendly anymore. Like, it was just very weird. And all my guy friends, like, I was all homies with them and shit, but it started switching up, and it's just, like, I didn't fuck with that. So, for me, it just really made me a little, like, mad that, like, Damn, bro, how come Thick of Nina didn't get to experience this? Like, that's not fair. You know, it's really not fair. You just be like, people ain't shit. Like, everything is about visual. So, yeah. Hey. That's it. I think that's the most recent one. Yeah. Okay. That's a good That's a good answer. That's not easy. Like, transformations and stuff like that. That's serious. And you're being factual. All like, oh, right. And, like, for me, I just think personality over anything, right? Like, you could be real pretty, real nice, whatever, fuck. If you a piece of shit, you a piece of shit. Like that. I agree with her. I one hundred percent agree with her. Everything gotta be like mine. Your mindset, what you value, it gotta be like on par. You not on that shit, bro. You gotta gotta go. I agree. What the fuck? I agree with her. I agree with her. That's my answer. Ryan, do you have one more question, or do you think you know who you're going to eliminate? This one's hard. Not. I know how to feel on the Bachelor now. (laughs) <laughs> where you fall in love with two women and it's just it's hard but you gotta pick you know let me just say this as a precursor like i told nina before i was initially kind of taken back and i was like whoa um and i was i gave you i, I wasn't saying i was giving you a hard time but you definitely kind of something in, in me you may you were tugging at my heartstrings for some reason. Like, you have this sort of hard exterior, but uh, getting to know you more, I could see the, I could see the softness. I could see the, Aww. just the pure, more gentle version of you in there, you know? Ryan's You have a hard exterior, soft inside. You're like fried ice cream, you know? Poetic Riz? And then there's Zobo, who obviously 
looks like a fucking American Eagle in the mall model poster that you would look at her and be like, wow. And she's also a little spunky and a little a little tough in a way, you know, isn't going to let people walk over her, which is a a cool thing as well. And then, so this is hard. This is, this is difficult. And then there's Tiff, which is just another, I'm sorry. I just, what yeah, but she fuck? just took that top what? off, but that's, no, that's whatever. Um, okay. I'm just the host. I'm just the host. I... I'm going to eliminate. I'm going to eliminate Nina. And and let me tell you why. So I wordless Riz chat. Don't. Oh, uh, we good? I can still speak. Um, I don't think. I don't see the longevity. I see you too much as a friend. Uh, Ooh. I get along with you in a sort of in a friendly Ooh. way. Chat, how do you and feel about this? The, the, the double D's actually almost had me like, like, oh fuck it. But <laughs> I, I I decided I was like, nah, I need to go with my gut. And yeah, you seem like just a solid ass person, but but I viewed it uh, in in sort of a friendly way. So not to minimize your beauty or anything like that, but yeah. Is this an L chat? Is this an L? Do you? Yes, go ahead and speak. <laughs> yes! Yes, brother! Yes! Wait, no, 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 no. I was hoping I would get eliminated because I was like, okay, not because, not you know, you, you fine, you fine, you do your thing, you know what I'm saying? But like for me, I need to get to know somebody as a friend, you feel me? Like I need to know how you move type shit. So yes, I mm. always. And so, and you trying to say a bitch, really want to spread me on my mother? <laughs> if he not doing it for you, I'm him. I'm him. <laughs> no, just no. She's straight, but good try. Um. Oh, no, uh, no, she she might be a little she might be a little wonky. You never know. No, uh, Ryan, how do you feel about a Sneeko cosplay? Sneeko cosplay. What do you mean by that? Like watching in a corner type shit. Yeah. Um. I think. Uh. I think I'm actually not into any girl on girl thing. I'm not into any of that. I'm into me on the girl. Mm. I'm yeah. also into Tiff. Too. Oh, okay, okay. We're uh threesome. I have you Enzo. Fucking me, man. Yeah. In my private jet. Yeah, in my private jet, my mom. In your private jet. Okay, okay. Oh, mm. high call shit. You feel me? We outside. Uh. uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, well, um, <laughs> Nina, thank you so Do I much. Did now? Thank you, yeah, thank you so much for coming. Oh, I really okay. appreciate it. I appreciate you so you much. Did, you did, you thank you. Yeah. Thank you for my first time on Discord on, and everything. What they, what they call on? Oh, Discord. Yeah, first time on Discord. Yeah, this shit is a little confusing, but it's, it's I love y'all. Good, good luck to all y'all. Please make some cute babies. So I can babysit them. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Can you I got me you. Out? I got you. <laughs> Okay, um, Zoe, unmute. <laughs> okay, um, um, Zoe, how do you feel about uh, how do you feel about the the final person that that Ryan picked tonight? Um, I feel like I just won the Bachelor, so feel pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, you got the you got the final rose type shit. Okay, Ryan, mm. do you have anything that you have to say? Yeah, I definitely. First off, Zoe, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come here, speak with me, and we got to know each other. Uh, I'd be curious to know what the future holds with us. So we'll play it by ear. No pressure, no no stress. Uh, I'm I'm optimistic though. I think we could have some good banter. I think we could definitely make some amazing memories. But yeah, I'm ready to go wherever the wind takes me. So that's that. I agree. I agree.
Okay. Cool. Well, um, that's great. I'm, I'm, I hope that you guys, uh, end up like talking off stream type shit, maybe exchange, uh, socials and all of that. And like, uh, like follow each other, you know, you, I mean, I know you guys are like siblings, but like, you know, like something you can make yeah. work, you may work. Yeah. Like not in a weird way. Like, like not yeah, in a like weird way. No, like maybe you guys like... can both move to like Alabama or something. And then it just like, won't be weird. You know, real quick, just to put this out there, I was going to make a video recently about living with an Amish family. I tried to go, uh, I was back home in Southern Maryland and I was trying to find an Amish family that I could like feel, live with for a day or something. And they didn't, it was hard to talk to them because they're Amish. <laughs> and I talked to one girl. I said, hey, is there anyone here? Like I tried to talk to her and I, she was looking at me really weird and, and looked away as I was talking to her and like it was ignoring me. Long story short, I, I looked at her and she looked very off. Like she was almost, like she looked special needs, but not quite. And then I looked online and I saw Amish people. A lot of them are inbred. Uh, and I got to see, I got to actually speak to them, an inbred person. And yeah, it was striking. What that's is, not what we would do, though. What is, what is going no. on? Like, that's... Yeah. We would use protection. We're not actually we're not. siblings. He said we'd use protection. No, yeah, we, we definitely... Our facial structures, we are not related. <laughs> you look a little um, different. Um, yeah. Okay, anyway. um, Alabama yeah. Riz. Anyways, um, okay, so, so Zoe, thank you so much for... You were so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I want you so bad. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. I just, sorry. I just had to say that. But like, thank you so much for coming in tonight. I really appreciate you taking your time. Okay. Um, Thanks I'm going to, me. I'm going to disconnect you and I'm going to have a little chat with Ryan, a little like post interview type shit. But thank you so much for, uh, for coming in. I appreciate it. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye guys. Thank you. So. Thank Bye. you for coming. Have a good night. Bye. You're going to be too. coming to us tonight. Huh? All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Text me. Whatever. Love that hell of a LA hat. <laughs> <clears throat> How was that? That was phenomenal. That was, we got a, a good amount of people. That was a lot of the, people. Wow. The energy was great. Incredible.